He's a tough, hardened defender already at his age. Pendergast kicks it to centre wing. Costello came through the traffic beautifully. Threat of the handball to Marsh. Marsh gave it back to Hart. Hart was beset upon by Lovell. Lovell got him high again. Jesse Hart did okay. And he He's got the free he earned kick. a free kick. I don't know how he, he sort of got it at the end, Mont, but yeah. I reckon he bloody well deserved no, that. You Jesse Hart it. centre wing. You called it, Robbie. Tyler Lovell's tackled. He's got a little bit higher, so Jesse Hart's got the free kick. Looks like he's filling into his body quite nicely, Mont, a promising young talent, Jesse. Yeah, obviously still only 18 or 19 years of age, so a couple more years of development, he'll be a very key part of this Lovington defence. Long kick down the line, Rooster, Tim Ooh. Oosterhoff had nothing to work with there as Lockie Howe, as he does so regularly, slots in the whole house, kick was poor, Lavington go inside, 450 again, but Yarrawonga players are everywhere, one of whom is our man Pendergast. He goes short, and he finds Slim Shady, who's no longer Slim Shady. Found the Clippers during the week, didn't he, Logan Morey? Short, penetrating kick wasn't the best. Robinson had to work hard. Our man Logan Morey, slim shady. Monty, I, I was really starting to get used to the blonde locks, but he's just <laughs> gone into the, the wig chop barbershop during the week and just got the number one all over. Oh, I reckon the blonde might come back when he grows out a little bit because he had it last week about the same length, but the blonde in it, and it wasn't a great look oh, for him. Yarrawonga one straight. Lavington yet to score. That's on the steel line scoreboard. True centre wing broadcast side. Hargrave applied a good tackle. Clearing defensive lines was Wheeler up towards centre wing. Flying high was Butler. Didn't quite get a hand on that one. Now it falls Look away out. of Fothergill who kicks inside 450. The fat side for Williams. Spina. He has the front spot and he picks up cleanly. Kick's going to be good. It's a real 50-50 contest here. Willis does well for Lavington. A sort of a look away over the top handball towards Costello. And you can see where the cricket covers are there on centre wing. Velodrome side of the ground. That's going to be another boundary throw in. Dan Vaccaro for 40 wings. Give me something that's going to stun me. Well, Lavington are fighting back in the contest. They're starting to win the territory battle. So they're up to five inside 50s. And Billy Glanville's starting to get busy. He's up to five disposals on the 40 wing stat sheet. Ball out the back here. This is dangerous here. Creeps towards half forward for Yarrawonga. Kick off the ground by Wilson was clever. Fobbergill was smart. Got it on to Fraunfelder. Hunter Fraunfelder for goal. It was a low, clever kick. And it's just missed on the near side of the post. So only the second score of the game. We've gone 14 minutes on the steel line time clock. It's seven to nothing. Boundary side, Scott Montgomery for the New Market Hotel. Dan Howe is the out. Do we have an update as to why? Uh, no, I haven't been able to get that yet. Boys, a very tight lip, so I'll try and chase that one up. Boom recruit, Dan Howe. The late out for the Arawonga Pigeons today. Into the side, Hunter Fraunfelder, who just made a contribution on the steel line scoreboard. On the broadcast side, wing Glanville for the Panthers has some work to do. Has a few options. He burns them all and throws a high up and under on the left boot. Good work from Tim Hanna. Bit of a ruck contest there. He brings the ball to ground level. McLeod got it to Costello, who kicks long down the line. And Ryan Bruce, he intercepts in the hole. And Yarrawonga going to want to switch the footy at centre half back. Yeah, Urquhart slid a handball to Pendergast, who goes down the line to Cogill. And Cogill marks. Centre wing, Jack Driscoll on the mark. Who goes short, and Pendergast has continued to run. He marks centre wing. He goes short. It's a half volley. It's a low penetrating kick. It's not going to work out at all. Now it comes out. So good work. We're not in Pendergast was back in there for a little bit more of the action. Balls over the back. Gaffney read it oh. okay. Williams got knocked out of it. They've got some numbers around the ball here, the Pigeons. Yarrawonga, can they work it out here? Nye Holmes over it, Wilson's alongside him. And they're going to get a free kick. There was a push or a high shot, Monty, for nah, the new market. I couldn't pick it up. Just back a little bit there, I think, Billy Glanville. Yeah, just as he was trying to pick it up, just ended a bit smarter, just fell into the back. And as players do, they just die forward a little bit and got the free kick. So it's Nye Holm with the free kick. And he's going to kick from about 37 metres out. You pretty well call that almost directly in front. He goes short. Gets a lead, and Matt Casey marks. So just a little bit lax there. No one standing in front of the action. And Casey just had a clear pathway in front of Butler. He's further out, Monty. Yeah, we know distance is an issue with the way Matty Casey kicks mm. footy, but so probably a smart call there from Tanner Nyholm, who's looked a little bit lively early on, got his hands to a couple of footies down forward. So I reckon he's in for a big day, Tanner. Mont, early days, I like the look of Nick Patton for Lavington. Yeah, agreed, agreed. He's been fantastic so far, Nick Patton. So, yeah, hopefully he can continue on in his debut game. Matt Casey from 42 metres out. The journey's easily there. The accuracy's outstanding. And an early contender for a Sunjan goal of the day. And Casey's got the only two goals of the game. Or the, either that or Gus McLeod's gun telling me to do <laughs> something else. 
And the Pigeons extend their lead now out to 2 1 13. Panthers yet to score. 16 and a half minutes gone on the NZ Aubrey time clock. Yeah, what an absolute cannon there by Casey. So he kicks his second goal. 13 inside 50s now for Yarrawonga, so they're dominating this contest. Nick Fothergill, he's been real lively with four disposals on the 40-wing stat sheet up forward, but Harry Wheeler, five disposals, and Bailey Fraunfelder off the half-back to wing area, three disposals on the 40-wing stat sheet. Monty, are you watching Lockie Howe from this stoppage? Yes, I am. I am. He just got told to uh, run behind the footy and then he'll go into the ruck and Coke Hill will go forward, I reckon. The, the call come from Stevie J out of the box, so I reckon that's what's going to happen as he's rolling in there. I thought he was running onto a wing for a second. <laughs> Big Lockie Howe. Kogel up in the ruck. Falls the way of Lockie Howe. Now he's playing as a rover. Glanville. Dispossessed of the footy. Spills it out. Trying to find Big Jack Driscoll who toe pokes it forward. Irvine. This is Whooper. Goes backwards to go forwards. Arawonga bring the ball out to the broadcast side wing. The kick was poor. And at Monty, you might get a 40 wings disposal. Nearly. There, and that was hotel. Cousin Jeffy that had that disposal. Two boys that you missed. So don't forget him. Cousin Jeff. Jeff. Yeah, Cousin Jeffy. Down can, back for, for Yarrawonga. Cousin, cousin Jeff, yeah. Montgomery. Very tight. My cousin's out there as well, Big Mac. McLeod. He is Juddy. Here's Driscoll. Uh, I won't give him a stat on that one, Jack. Smothered. Tommy Hargraves. Here's Willie Wheeler. That was clever. Out to Cameron Wilson. And he kicks it out of bounds. 70 out from the Yarrawonga goal. They lead 13 to nothing. 18 minutes gone. We're doing this one for A-grade oils and batteries. Dan Vaccaro, what do you got? We're going to get around the grounds for some scores shortly. We'll get back to you, Dan. Thanks, Take Robbie. Away, Gus. Technology just uh, not working the best there for Dan, isn't it? Are you with Optus? <laughs> uh, Feel like those messages get sent we'll through run, with the tips. We'll run with that. <laughs> Boundary throw in. We're 55 metres from Yarrawonga goal. Lavington just need to stem the flow here a little bit. Lockie Howe's been dominant. Russell tries to tackle him, and Russell's going to come out with a free kick for holding the ball. Glanville takes possession, kicks the centre half forward. Oh, Too oh. good from our man. Empty head, Pendergast. He's an absolute star and emerging as one of the best centre half backs in the competition. Took a beautiful intercept mark as the ball now finds its way. Just forward of centre to Cam Wilson. On the edge of the cricket pitch, his kick was smothered by Russell. Lovell had some work to do. And net was good. O'Brien in traffic. Ryan Bruce toe pokes it forward. Bit of a high tackle there as Robinson it. spills it out. Free kick's going to go the way of the Lavington Panthers. Balls with Lockie Gaffney, who goes out to the Velodrome side wing. He's got the big rooster, Timmy Oosterhoff. Ooh, the rooster has it. Let's see if he's got a roost on him. He chips short. That's okay. Finds Chris Annette. Net opens up the eyes. Kicks. Look at where Lockie Howe's standing. He got his fist on it. Straight to Irvine. Off halfback now, Jordy Urquhart kicks, not a good one, and Driscoll get a marker. Of, oh, he's stiff. Oh. It was either a marker or a free kick, I thought. Yeah, I thought I said it was a grab. He got first hands to it. He was a bit unlucky, Mont. Anyway, that's the way she goes. It's going to come up still inside forward 50 for Lavington. They trail 13 to zip. Wilson had the footy, was tackled from behind. He's going to get pushed in the back. Pushed. It was the secondary push that did the damage, I think, Mont. Yeah, I think you're right. I think you tried to crawl out of it. And, uh, yeah, Shawnee Driscoll just fell into his back a little bit there. <laughs> It'd feel a bit stiff there, Shawnee Driscoll. He probably should have got a grab, and he's just given away probably a soft one there. And I think we heard Schneid's comment about it through the effects, Mike, as well. I, he wasn't able to So Yarrawonga have possession. They kick long in the Fothergill direction. He flew high. Spina stayed low for the Lavington Panthers and the big long socks. He's going to look to try and find an option. He's got a bit of space. Swivel kick. It was okay. Contest forms and taken across the boundary line by Tyler Lovell. Boundary throw in. As we go around the ground for Mr. Stove's Pool World. Yeah, thanks, Gussie. So Raiders Aubrey, Aubrey 15 and Raiders 6. Wangaratta Rovers 18 to Coral Rutherglen 6. North Aubrey 12 to Wangaratta 16. I'll get back to you with the next game, boys. Hopper cleans up at half back. Kicks 50 50. Costello. Good tackle in the end. It'll be cause a turnover on Urquhart. Ends up there with Connor Willis. Drives it to half forward. They've got numbers here. The fall of the ball. McLeod overran it. Handball shoveled out the back. The Holgate. Now it goes. Work their way back to Pendergast. Kicks a low chiseler. Costello's there. Geez, a competitor, this young fella. He did well. He gets it towards Charlie Sanson, who stayed over the footy. Whooper Irvine could not get his hands on it. I think it was a jar, a schooner, the best stuff he would have got hold of it, but not on this occasion, and it's going to ball up. And, Dan, I've got a 40-wing stat for you, mate. Hit me, Robbie. There's only two people out there today wearing their socks up. Take it away, Mont. Thank you, Robbie. That's one of the worst stats I've heard all year. <laughs> 
Uh, well, feedback is a gift, as some would say. <laughs> Timmy Hanna, he's going to kick inside 450. The Roosters the target, a couple to beat. Timmy Oosterhoff brings it to ground level. Free kick, whistle. It's going to go against Lavington Mont. Yeah, I think it's been against the big rooster. I think he might have just got the hands in the back of uh, Kyle Tyson, who was coming back with the flight. Tyson, dangerous looking kick. Ooh. Really dangerous looking kick. Urquhart had to work hard. Handball goes the way of Lavington. It's big Timmy Hanna. Here's a go for Russell. Throws on the boot. Wasn't his best kick. Corby Robinson got some space and poleaxed. Too much time for Corby Robinson. He got taken in a big crunching tackle by big Matt Casey. Uh, Frontfelder. Oh, Frontfelder it is. The late inclusion. Hunter Frontfelder. And Monty, that's probably a sign of a youngster coming in from the thirds, how quick the senior footy contest is. Yeah, absolutely it is. And Hunter Frontfelder was probably you know, another one who's coming up from that third system that showed just how quick they can step into it. Kick to centre wing. Fovergill couldn't mark. Panthers kick it towards centre wing. Fovergill went back, kick off the ground. Marked by Marsh. Can they set something up here? Hargraves, clever little handball to Russell. Russell's handball. It's picked up by Patton. He looks good off the left foot. Here's a chance for the Rooster. Ball spills free. Charlie Sanson, snap on goal. Panthers on the board. It's a minor score. 2-1, 13 Yarrawonga. Just the one behind to Lavington. 23 minutes gone. And that's on the NZ Aubrey. Time clock. Monty, not a bad look inside 50. Patton looks a player. Absolutely, as we spoke about. Off half back, he just looks like he's going to be able to do a little bit. And uh, use the footy quite well. So 23 minutes gone, NZ Aubrey time clock. Yarrawonga 2-1, Lavington is the one behind thanks to Steerline. As the Pigeons bring it down the broadcast side wing, falls at the back to Robinson, took him by surprise. Lockie Howe being the best player on the ground for mine, gets another 40 wings disposal, up to half forward. Fothergill by hand to Willie Wheeler with an open 50 awaiting. He kicks to the top of the goal square and it fades late. Robbie was applauding the kick early, but it faded late and it's across the face for a minor score. Yarrawonga 2-2-14, two, two, Lavington one behind around the grounds, Mr Stowe's pool world. Yeah, the game, the other game I didn't get to, Martin Park, Wodonga Seniors 1-1-7 one, one, to Murderford 2-3-15, so the early jump there on Wodonga. Here's another stat, T boys, I'll give you another one, Mont, I, you're so impressed with the last one. <laughs> Is this the first time we've ever had two Rennie Premiership players in opposite sides being the runner? Think about that one. Oh, Nick, no, Patton there. Yeah. Nick Patton has it at half back, kicks a bit shallow, but Driscoll took a... I tell you, the umpires aren't in love with Shawnee today. And in the end, the umpire showed good discretion and said, look, I'd better ball it up. It possibly was a half volley, but Shawnee tried to claim the mark. Centre wing, 24 minutes gone. Lavington would love a late goal here. Hard graze, tackled by Maury over the boundary line. And that's what it's going to be. Another boundary throw in, about 20 for this quarter, which we're doing for A-grade oils and batteries. And I reckon the old boundary umpire might need a bit of oil underneath the armpits at well, quarter time, Gus. You'll have to go and see the physio. How taps it down nicely. Ball goes the way of Logan Morey. We can't call him Slim Shade anymore. He's been to the barbers. Mick Fothergill working his way into this first quarter nicely. 85 from home. Low chiseler. Hit Patton in the chest. Wasn't expecting it. Plays on. Comes in board. It's OK. Hargrave has some work to do. Fronfelder intercepts for Yarrawonga. Kicks to the hot spot. Well done by Hart. Made a good contest. Kogil has to work really hard here for the Pigeons. On hands and knees. Whistle should come from the umpire. And it does. We'll ball the footy up. 25 metres from Yarrawonga's goal. Lavington's back six. They have to stand up here, Big Mac. They can't afford another goal into quarter time. Yeah, it's done okay so far. I've only conceded the two. The issue is they haven't scored one themselves. Quick Maury off the... Oh, he's got it. He's kicked it from 25. It's gone over the head of John O'Spina. Yeah, and Logan Maury nails the third goal for the Pigeons. A Sunjan goal of the day contender. And John O'Spina, Monty, if he had been two yards further back, he might have got a hand on it. Yeah, he would have. And we've spoken about the clearance work of Yarrawonga in the pregame. And just there, the inside 50 clearance there from Logan Moore. He just set up really well. Boot quickly and they score the goal, which we knew Lavington didn't want to give up. 26 minutes gone. Yeah, really starting to get a reward for Everett here. Lavington up to 18 inside 50s this quarter. So they're really starting to dominate this contest. 18 inside 50s. How many for the Panthers? 11. With a couple of Yarra going back in their defensive 50. Here's a go here for Lavington. Driscoll finally gets a chance where the umpires don't intervene. He kicks to half forward. O'Brien was the target that Ryan Bruce had a better body position and he takes an intercept mark for Yarrawonga. On the edge of the centre square, Velodrome's side is where he's going to want to kick. He kicks long down the line. Good intercept mark taken there by Sean Driscoll. 
who's working his way into the contest on the edge of the centre square. Costello's presenting in board, he ignores. He's going to play the percentages and kick long down the line, trying to avoid Lockie Howe. The kick's good. Marsh plays on, has to go by hand, finds a net. He kicks from a standing start inside forward 50. Good kick to Sanson. And might have just fumbled that one across the line. Monty, he's not overly happy with his work there, Charlie. Yeah, just bounced off the chest and the pressure where everyone was able to put on him late probably made that happen. But yeah, as you could see, the touched off the boot from Shawnee Driscoll there is why they had to play on quickly through Clayton Marsh. So Howe will take the boundary throw in. And alongside him is Jack Driscoll. They stand a long way back, these Ruckman. They'll work out one day that the umpires here don't throw it that far from the boundary. Here's Logan Moore. He just kicked the last goal. Punts one to half four to centre wing. Hannah played on the hurry. This time, Shawnee Driscoll is paid the mark. Low down. Can only be seconds left. Driscoll, 60 out from gold. Looks for the rooster. And it's Howe. Lockie Howe does well. It's going to be a free kick. It's going to go the way of the... Driscoll, I think. Jack Driscoll. So the big boy from Euron Creek, he kicked a ripping goal in the last quarter last week to keep the uh, the Panthers in it. He should kick this one, Gus. Well, Monty, I don't know how Lockie Howe's given away a push in the back. He I had both hands at the foot. I don't think it was Lockie Howe that gave it away. I think it was yeah. his direct opponent coming in behind and, and pushed him into Lockie Howe. So I'm pretty sure that's what they've paid. So big Jack, it just wouldn't be surprised that siren blasts across the ground while he's running in for a shot here. 28 minutes tick over. Gee, the Panthers need this one. They trail by 19. Driscoll's kick on the way. It was a tentative push. And he's knocked it through for a point to the near side. So two behind Sir Lavington. 3-2, 20 Yarrawonga. 28 minutes gone. We're doing it for A-grade oils and batteries. Here's Gussie Angus McLeod, who today, uh, he's a part owner in Horse. Uh, had a win, Gus, out of Voca. Thanks, Robert. Well done. McRae Motors bringing you the first quarter on LM Live as Thanks for the Howe tip. kicks inboard. Dangerous looking kick. Falls the way now of Logan Morey at centre half back. High up and this is going to work out really well for Yarra Wonga. If Robinson can move the footy quickly, edge of the centre square, siren beats him. Matt Casey was on the lead, but the buzz up beat it everyone to the contest for the quarter time score to read Yarra Wonga leading the Lavington Panthers 3 2 20 to Lavington, is this two behinds? 28 and a half minutes that first term went, despite the fact we only had three majors. It's all done and dusted, thanks to A-grade oils and batteries. On the other side of the break, we'll bring you the quarter's best. We'll also cast our eye across the 40 wink stat sheet. It's o &M Live on 1494 2AY, and on o &M Live, you won't miss a thing. What's your future look like? Where do you want to be? Shaping lives through nursing? Building communities through community services? Maybe caring for animals through veterinary science? With GoTave by your side, you can make it happen. From agriculture, hospitality, health and wellbeing, trades and education, to hair and beauty or creative, learn real skills for real jobs and careers right now. With GoTave, you've got this. Search GoTave today. At 2AY, we're your home of live sport. Every weekend, we bring you the best live broadcasts of the Ovens and Murray football and netball. Listen this weekend on your radio or the 2AY app. Adroit Insurance and Risk, your local insurance advisor, able to tailor insurance programs to support your business. And we're proud to support our local community. Zero point zero percent alcohol. This changes everything. <laughs>
At 2AY, we're your home of live sport. Every weekend, we bring you the best live broadcasts of the Ovens and Murray football and netball. Listen this weekend on your radio or the 2AY app. Pain or injury can stop you from living life to the fullest. Aubrey Wodonga Private Hospital specialises in advanced orthopaedic services and offers a full range of care from diagnosis to surgery and rehabilitation. Get back to the life you love with our support. Half price until half time is on in the locker room. Watch Friday night AFL footy action live on our big screen and get half price selected beers until half time. On now in the locker room at the SSNA. For out there, Jaco Aubrey Wodonga. Oh, and then live on 2AY. Welcome back to the Lavington Sports Ground. Quarter time sees the Yarrawonga Pigeons hold an 18 point lead here on OM Live. Before we go boundary side of Scott Montgomery, we go to Dan Vaccaro to give us the McRae Motors quarter's best. Yeah, thanks, Gussie. Optus quarter's best for Lavington, a slow start for them, but I thought young Nick Patton was really, really handy, and Billy Glanville as well. Up to seven disposals, worked his way into the contest really well. And for Yarrawonga, None other than Lockie Howe dominated in the ruck and then going down back as well. So he's a superstar. Along with Nick Fothergill, I really liked his game as well. Seven disposals. Probably had about three inside 50 entries as well, Nick Fothergill. So super important around that forward half. Uh, any key stats to have a look at on the 40-wing stat sheet? Well, it's probably the, the inside 50s early on in the quarter, Gussie. That, uh, I think Yarra probably got up to about 16 inside 50s before Lavington got off one. So they're really dominating. But it's 18 to 13 now. But I think Lavington had a couple of easy sort of shallow entries as well. So the inside 50 count was probably evident halfway through the quarter. Um, but that's the big one for me. Two goals to Matt Casey and a single to Logan Morey in the first term for the Yarrawonga Pigeons. We'll go boundary side, Scott Montgomery, for the new Market Hotel. Before you dissect the huddles, Monty, you and I were commenting off air. It's been a slippery, scrappy game of football, and they're probably the surface and, and a bit of water sitting on top is probably the, the reason for that. Yeah, absolutely. With the, the short cooch grass, it sort of sits on top a little bit more. So just when you're walking around and you put your foot right into the ground, it does bring water to the surface. So it is quite slippery. And we noticed that the skill level probably wasn't where it needs to be. And that was one thing Stevie J touched on was their options coming out of their back half are probably just a little bit too cute for this sort of weather. Make sure it's the right one. So just got to execute a little bit better. Well, Lavington, they were just talking about their effort wasn't great enough. Four to the footy and probably they were outnumbered a lot. But the effort to get to the out number wasn't really there from their midfield and, and their smaller guys up the forward. And anything uh, that you can bring us, Monty, something groundbreaking, anything remarkable, just spark a bit of life in what was a pretty ordinary first quarter? Give us something, Mont. <laughs> As Robbie Jackson said in the, in the pregame, probably play on the other side of the ground a bit more, boys, so the ball stays a bit drier instead of coming out this side all the time. Oh, That's about all I've got for you. And I think you had two 40 winkses in that first as well. I did, and my cuz had one too. So <laughs> Go, Jeffy. Are they the RMs as well you're running with today? Definitely not RMs. I can't afford them with two kids and a wife at home, mate, unlike you boys up there in the box. <laughs> well you've, said. You're bloody living with your brother now. You're, oh, no. You're, you're tight. You're stripping things off him, tight. mate. Oh, he no. bought the lollies today. He did provide the hey, lollies. Exactly. I've got a bit very more money happy. now. I'm not paying a mortgage back. So. Yeah, uh, Big I'm Mac, before we that. get this quarter underway, well, you might have to work into the quarter. The two Rennie runners, what's your stat there? Obviously, Pender. Well, it was, yeah, Pender, yeah. But, uh, and Pender and Craig Edney played together. But I'm not sure if Pender's actually oh. running now, is he, Mike? Uh, he's sitting down. He's, he's not running. He's, he's got the fluoros he's on. on the bench. For J.K. Orber at Onga, Big Mac, kick the second quarter off on OM Live. I will. Give that tap to Hannah, although wheel up, won the kick. I reckon it was touched, and Costello was smart enough to play on for Lavington. Kicked it down the line, looking for Connor Willis. Fraunfelder just very cleverly worked its way out over the boundary line. And, and to commence the second quarter, we've got another boundary throw in. Would you believe it? We'll get we around those. Take uh, these after uh, half time backs. Uh, we'll I keep it. And the umpire, the little boundary umpire, said, Hey, boys, come in a bit. I cannot throw it that far. That is a terrific throw from the young man. 
over the back. Hannah followed up his good work, kept running at it. Connor Willis was clever. He pivoted and swiveled, kicks it inside forward 50. Jack Driscoll popped the little handball to Robinson. Fraunfeld is there, provides a great shepherd. Urquhart was helping along, and he's going to be ping for holding the ball. So good tackle there by Corby Robertson. A star in the Lavington Thirds Premiership win. A son of a gun, drives it long to half forward. Ball comes to ground, mussing his way through was Whooper Irvine and thumps it back to half back. Matt Casey can't take it overhead. Costello releases a handball to Patton. Patton off the left foot. Good call by Charlie Sanson. He told Tommy Hargraves to leave it. And Charlie, go back and have a shot, Mon. It was actually Nick Patton as it left his boot. He yelled Charlie's name as loud as he could to make sure Tommy Hargrave didn't pinch it. So it was a great kick and great communication from the young fella on debut, who we've mentioned a few times. He's been absolutely fantastic and looks like he's going to be in this side for a long time. That's good work there from Scott Montgomery down boundary side for the Newmarket Hotel. And he's generally got a, he's a long kick, Charlie. You can hear that wind, big back. Can he nail it here? I need one to start. I can hear that wind gust. I'm not sure where it's coming from. Sanson's kick's a bit errant. I was trying to build him up, and he's kicked it out of bounds on the full. <laughs> Monty, any breeze near Mark Yeah, Hotel? As, you, as you spoke about, you can definitely hear it, boys. So it's coming across the ground from the velodrome directly towards the calling station up there. I can't hear it. Hang on, let me turn it up for you, right? Can you hear that now? There we go. There's a bit of wind. Long kick down the broadcast side wing. Urquhart tried to claim the mark. He's going to be paid. I reckon about 10 blokes had a touch on that, Sharon, before it was marked. Jordy Urquhart across half back for the Pigeons. Long down the broadcast side wing. Good contest form. Front and centre was Robinson who just threw it on the boot and said, boys, chase that one. Einspawn didn't get the nice bounce. Hopper swings Ooh. around, got a handball at the back in the nick of time. Tanner Nyholm in boy to Leroy. Lee Williams plays on. Ooh. Oh, Leroy, what are you doing? He kicks to the top of the goal square. Fraunfelder was there and Big Mac... That was one of the worst things I've ever seen from Lee Williams. And uh, Monty, I don't know if you share the same uh, view. It's up there, but I think we spoke about it at the quarter time off air, boys. I reckon he might be carrying something, Leroy, because I don't reckon he was confident going back and kicking that one through there. So, yeah, Basil Fromfeld was out there and just couldn't hit him. So, well, mm, If he had kicked surprising. it properly, it would have gone to Basil and he would have kicked a goal. All he was looking for the team, but yeah, go back and have a shot, big I've Lee. tipped him for the Doug Strang and he hasn't kicked one yet. Yep. Jeez. yep. Now, here's Patton. He plays on and he shovels a handball out to Chris Annette who kicks it down the velodrome side. And Connor Willis has been prominent today. I know Adam Snyder's a, a bit of a fan of this young man. He's showed good form today. A good kick too. Got a bit of ground. Here's Hannah floating back. Well done by Pendergast. Howell does the roving. Not sure how he got rid of that. It'll work out all right for Ryan Einspawn. And he's got a, a short little kick at centre wing. Yarrawonga lead 21 to two. We've gone three and a half minutes in the second quarter and Harry Wheeler takes a good mark Gus McLeod he'll pump him inside forward 50. That he does high up and under Butler's in the hole good hands should have Ooh. been paid the mark umpire let it go very very stiff there Yarrawonga have numbers handball over the top was okay Robinson free kick is going to come back it's a free <laughs> kick to Fothergill Scott Montgomery Newmarket Hotel. Yeah being paid for too high there probably just come across but there was probably a couple that were missed a bit earlier holding the ball and maybe a mark but oh. um you know, yeah, Nick Fothergill will go back, and we know what a classy finisher he is. He will definitely put this one through, boys. And I've just seen something quite funny down here on the bench. The boundary umpire has gone for the pickle juice no. already in no, the second he hasn't. Not. <laughs> not a word of a lie, boys. Oh, that'll do, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Had a day like today. I don't know if that's quite needed. Astonishing pre stuff. The pre-season might be in Jeez. question, Mont. I'm with you, Gussie. Nick Fothergill, the smooth operator. That'll do, mate. He's going to kick this one from 30 metres out in a 45-degree angle. Can't believe it. To the Lavington number two end. Nick Fothergill, right foot kick, looks beautiful off the boot. You'd expect nothing less from Nick. It's a contender for a Sun Jam goal today. It's through the big sticks, and Lavington led trail by 25 points on the CMV truck and bus scoreboard. Yeah, hot start by Yarrawonga again this quarter. Two inside 50s and a classy finish there by Nick Fothergill. One of the better players on the ground, Gus, and probably one of the better small forwards in the comp, Nick Fothergill. He works his way to eight disposals and a goal for him. Harry Wheeler, Willie Wheeler all getting involved this quarter and Bally Fraunfelder as well. So Yarrawonga starting off where they left off last quarter, boys. Yeah, well, mate. Jeez, I tell you what, I've, I've, last week was pretty warm and hot. Mm. Pickle juice going everywhere. Here's Shawnee Driscoll, collected beautifully from the tap from Hannah. Kicks to half forward. 
Over running it there was Angus McLeod. McLeod came back and did well. He's going to be wrapped up. They'll ball this one up inside half forward. Any relation, Gus? No. Uh -huh. His name's spelt wrong as well. No way. Okay. People have trouble spelling your name, don't they? They do. Yep. You want to... Not sure it's a um, an awareness issue of, of you, Gus. I'm really not sure. <laughs> I thought winning that um, Acra would have... Sort of got things going a bit. I thought my uh, C grade bowling award would have done a bit of that as well. The duck award, maybe. The duck award. Kyle Tyson in the oh, back. Oh, intercepted pocket. by Wilson. <laughs> oh, goal. <laughs> and a breakdown in communication in the box is what the, uh, the Lavington doctor ordered for Connor Willis to kick a goal, Monty. It was poor from us in the broadcast box, but it was a beautiful finish from Connor Willis. Yeah, really well read there from Connor Willis, wasn't it? He knew that's where the kick they wanted to open up the game and just went bang and picked it off and played on quickly because I don't reckon he might have had the distance from there but um, yeah very smart finish on the outside of the boot the yeah. kick well, I was going to say Vax the kick was probably what let that contest down we didn't call it overly well but the kick was what really brought that down mm. from Yarra Wong. yeah just a blatant turnover there but Yarra, the one thing I'm really impressed with Lavi is they are going forward more but their marks inside 50 as well they've taken three marks this quarter inside their 50 so you can see they're going to be a lot more potent going forward uh, this quarter which is going to hold the game in good stead Almost seven gone, NZ time clock. Both Ruckman got a finger on that one. Coming off the square was Willis. Now Harry Wheeler. Wrapped up in a tackle by Sean Driscoll. We'll go boundary side, Scott Montgomery for the Newmarket Hotel. That's just what the doctor ordered for Lavington. Yeah, absolutely. They needed that, didn't they? Obviously, four in a row to Yarrawonga. Could have got a bit dangerous if they kicked the next one or two, but for them to come back to Lavington and kick goal, might just swing the momentum their way. Just a hint of sunshine too, Mont. Yeah. Cut, bursting its way yeah, through the Yeah, sunshine. Trying Just to get Just a bit lighter, through. I'd say. Lighter, lighter cloud. It's not a heat wave by any means. Einspawn, Gavitt, geez, quick, clever kick to centre wing. Robinson will run onto this one. Tap from Maury was clever. Lovell provided a good shepherd. Gaffney did well for Lavington. Did real. Oh, he had a swing and a miss at it. Einspawn's hands were quick to Ryan Bruce. Back to Harry Wheeler. Harry Wheeler to centre wing. Chance here for the Pigeons. Wilson was, might have been appealing for a free kick. Picked up by Hart. Kick. Oh, it's just got a little bit too much weight on it. Connor Willis just got to stay with the ball. He's got support behind him in Hopper. Hopper used his voice well. Now he's got to kick it in a hurry. Goes short. And he finds McLeod. True centre wing broadcast side. His young Judd. Umpire calls him to play on. Rooster's the target. Howard's in the hole. Falls at the back of all of them. Tracking this one back, Yarrawonga have numbers with Holgate. Whistle oh. and a free kick, Monty. Was that yeah. for a throw? He's pinging for a throw, yeah. He's not disputing it, so maybe it was there, Matty Holgate. Just, yeah, good forward pressure there from Jakey O'Brien. Was able to put them under the pump straight away and, yeah, got the free kick in. And we know what sort of finisher he is too normally. He's a beautiful kick of the footy, so well, you'd like to think he can kick this one. Well, Jakey O'Brien's one of those players that love you got to get going. He's only had the two touches in the first quarter, so this goal super important for Lovington here. So he's tied up in front of the old grandstand here at Lavington is Jake O'Brien. Five metres in from the boundary, 25 from home. Strikes it fat. It's across the face to the left-hand side for a minor score. Lavington 139, Yarrawonga 4327. That's on the CMV truck and bus scoreboard. Yeah, that was the one they needed to back it up from the previous goal by Connor Willis. And it's, they've missed. So the three goals neat behind. 4-3 one, to 1-3. Nine minutes gone. Ryan Bruce off half back. Kicks it towards Velodrome centre wing. Russell does well for Lavington. Kicks it inside forward 50. The rooster was there. Pendergast was outstanding. Just got a fist on it in the nick of time. And Ryan Bruce shepherded it over the boundary line after under a little bit of pressure there from Jack Driscoll. 30 around for the Lavington goal. Trailer by three, a goal here. Get it back to two goals, Gus. And they are right back in this contest. Certainly are. They need the next one. We'll go to Denver Car over 40 wings shortly. Boundary throw in. Kogel had to work hard. Corby Robinson did he get taken high. He was on the bottom of the pack. Umpire let him get up on his feet. Working hard is Maury. Did he take him on? Umpire said no. We'll ball the footy up 10 metres from goal. Really impressed with this. Uh their pressure work here at Lavington, but the one thing I'm really impressed of is the inside 50, so five to two in favour of Lavington. This Howell did the raving. He's a good footballer, reads it well. Annette chased the footy, was well tackled, squeezed a handball to Marsh, and Marsh is a good decision, a good early decision by the umpire to ball it up. The Panthers doing a lot of attacking this quarter. Inside forward 50 again. Hannah won the tap. Over the back, Billy Glanville. Clever! Sanson just couldn't quite hang on to it. Maury, quick kick off half back, over the head of Bevan. 
Casey did well. Handball release to Fovergirl. A clever, smart operator. Kicks the ball to centre wing. Williams has three to beat, of course. The three prevails for Lavington. Ball goes backwards to big Jack Driscoll, who kicks down the line, and that's all their opponents that he kicked to. So Maury, he goes short in board to Cam Wilson. His numbers for 40 winks. Has to be seventh disposal on the 40 winks stat sheet. True centre wing, grandstand side is Cam Wilson. He picked up our O&M Live MVP in 2023. Kicks short, Casey. Just a one-hander. Umpire's calling to play on. Oh. He evades two tackles in board. Here's an opportunity for Coghill. The non-officiating umpires come in here, Monty, for the new in. Yeah, it got a bit high, but I reckon that Matt Casey is stiff there not being paid that mark. I'm not sure why it wasn't paid. He kicks to the hot spot. Williams the target. Williams oh. the destination. Williams the marker. Yeah, he just had the mismatch there. Got Jesse Hart on him in the transition. Jono Spinner just got lost a little bit. And obviously a little bit too big there for Jesse Hart. And great strong grab for Lee Williams. Does he go back and kick it, Mont? I'd hope so. I hope he doesn't try and pass it to someone again like last time. I really want him to go back and put this one through post high. He'll kick it for 40 metres out, call it directly in front, slight angle. To the redeveloped end of Lavington, Lee Williams strikes it nicely, but it's across the face for a minor score. He didn't Distance make, was an issue there. I was going to say, he didn't really kick through the footy, Monty. Are we perhaps... Mm. I, I mentioned it earlier, I think there might be something going on there. And we know yep. he's had some back and hamstring issues. A minor score, Pigeons 4-4-28, Lavington 1-3-9. On the CMV truck and bus scoreboard, kicking duties for John Spina. He does, Gussie. It's a good kick too. Hannah's his target. Hannah brought it to ground. Willis, been loving his best, I reckon. That's a thumping barrel. Here's a one-on-one. -on -one. The Rooster versus Empty Head. Fascinating contest. The Rooster got the first points. Snapped it over his left shoulder under pressure. And it's going to be thrown in. Boundary, 10 yards around from the behind post. Dan Vaccaro for 40 winks. Yeah, just going to go around the grounds quickly for Mrs. Stowe's pool world. So, Aubrey Tigers, 48 to Wodonga Raiders, 21. Wangaratta Rovers, 42 to Coral Rutherglen, 14. North Aubrey, 28. Wangar That's going to be a deliberate for mine. It's it going to be a deliberate umpire say throw oh, it in. Good watching decision. Watching the AFL, Gussie. We're not watching the AFL. Not not in the that AFL has, now, to be, Angus. has to be paid deliberate. You're not in the Come AFL on. or your suburban footy now, mate. You're up here in the bush. <laughs> <laughs> has glad, to be paid glad deliberate. Glad I've got one We're supporter fair in the income, box. Mate. So after all of that, a boundary throw in. Just favouring forward of true centre to the Yarrawonga Pigeons. Thank you, Robert. Not deliberate. Driscoll got it towards Hargrave. Wrapped up in a tackle. He spilt it out. And Yarrawonga have numbers everywhere. One of whom is Willie Wheeler. Kicks up the centre half forward. And Spina, he's doing some job on Lee Williams. Really nullifying his impact in the contest. Jono Spina, they finally got him a good number. He kicks in board and he finds Hargrave. Had to get on the second bite of the cherry. Goes backwards to go forwards. Hart's there. Handball's over the top. This is okay. Marsh kicks down the line. Not the best kick. Yarrawonga have numbers. Well done at the back of the contest by Holgate. And the kick comes down the line. Monty, you get another 40 winks disposal. Nearly. It's out of bounds on the full true centre wing. I tried, Gussie, but yeah, out of bounds on the full. So free kick to Lavington. Jesse Hart will take that. There we go. Yeah, I think... Um Billy Glanville was in a great position to receive a handball then. Agreed. Before, wasn't he, Mont? Yeah, he let him know about it too. He did, and so he should have. Good kick by Jess Hart. Inside forward 50, the rooster went early. Ball comes to ground. Cam Wilson overrun it. Hannah came through like the Southern Aurora. Here's a chance for the rooster again. Took him on. Knocked the handball out. Good work there by Basil Fraunfelder. Chipping kick to his brother. What a beautiful occasion for the Fraunfelder family that is. First time that's happened. Hunter Fraunfelder kicks it to half forward. Williams has front position. Butler over the back. Ryan Bruce at the front. Shoveled it. A net. There's an injury, Gus, I reckon. Good work, Nick Patton. Here's a go now here for Russell. That is deliberate. But, Gus, we're in the bush. Are they going to pay that? No, no, they won't. no, 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 no. Throw it Consistency, in. Consistency, I like there, it. Gus. Boundary side, Newmarket Hotel. John O'Spina, update from you, please, Monty. Yeah, very, very slow to get up. He's on his feet now and running, but I reckon the wind might have got taken out of him pretty well then. He's been very good. Certainly had the upper hand today on Lee Williams. Boundary throwing. Missed a lot of them. Jack Driscoll got it on the half volley. He's jumped onto and a big tackle by Cogill. And we'll ball the footy up. Quickly, some 40 wing stats that matters from Dan Vaccaro. Yeah, well, Lavington fighting back hard. This quarter, seven inside 50s lead in the way to Yarrawonga's three on the 40 wing stat sheet. Only the two goals this quarter. Fothergill and Willis, one each either side. Ball's in the hands now of Cogill. 
He's going to kick inside forward 50. Williams with two to beat. He just needs to compete. He does. He brings it to ground level. Glanville's there. He got the football out wide to O'Brien for the Lovington Panthers to kick long down the wing. Irvine pushed underneath this one. Working really hard is Costello. He's going to try and inset this contest. Oh, he does back, well. In the back, boys. Oh, come on, Monty. Yeah. We're trying to sell a bit of a story yeah, here. It was there. It was definitely there. Yeah, Kogel got there first. And yeah, just a bit sloppy from Costello. A little, learning curve for the young man. A little chip kick, Willie Wheeler. He's going to kick methodically, and he kicks nicely to Fronfelder. This is Hunter. Einspawn joined in the party. Umpire's going to get the whistle here and ball it up right in front of you, Monty, for the New Market Hotel. Yeah, just a sloppy little kick there from Willie Wheeler. Just probably should need to go down the line to the big target instead of the short one. Just not on today. It's not coming off for him. Jack Driscoll in the ruck. He, he loses that contest against Holgate. Now a kick was smothered. Good work there by Hunter Fraunfelder. He looks a likely type. It's pinballing around in there, Gus. It's not going to come out. Now it does. Marsh did well. And Marsh appropriately is the man who takes it out over the boundary line, right through the Yarrawonga interchange gates. And it's going to be thrown in. They worked overtime today, the little boundary up. He looks absolutely... Is this the Blake who had the pickle juice? No, nah, it's not this one, boys. Right, well, he might need a shot of it too, the young fella. Jack Driscoll, that was a clever tap. O'Brien overran it. Here's a chance for Hopper. Hopper punts it towards the rooster and Pendergast. No one can really take a decisive advantage there. The umpire's going to call... Oh, he's called play on. Here's a great chance for McLeod. Has a long-range shot, tight to the pocket. Hannah might... It's out of bounds on the full... Terrific work there from the gold umpire. He covered a lot of ground there to help out his boundary umpire, Gus. He's taken away, did. mate. Short kick. Ryan Bruce, our man in the goal square, kicks out towards the velodrome side wing. Harry Wheeler has two to beat. He makes a contest and he brought it to ground level. Inboard to Robinson. His handball missed the target. Slap forward. Working hard here is Hargrave, the captain of the Panthers. He's wrapped up in a Cam Wilson tackle. We'll ball it up on the edge of the centre square. Eight inside fifties now for Lavington, so really competing this territory battle here in Yarrawonga. Four inside fifties as well. Harry Wheeler, four disposals, and Willie Wheeler, three disposals on the 40 wink stat sheet. Yarrawonga lead the Panthers 28 to 9, thanks to CMV truck and bus. Hopper over and the football. Wilson was clean. Got it onto Willie Wheeler. Sells a bit of candy. Handballs over the top to Robinson, who can steady and kick on goal with a mongrel punt <laughs> that's just going to dribble across the face for a minor score. You won't be watching that one back on uh, Snap Printing TV, will Will Robinson? It's across the face for a minor score, 29 plays 9. The Pigeons lead by 20 points, Monty. I think you got caught in two minds there, Will Robinson. He wanted to pass it to Matt Casey, who become available very late and just sort of got caught in two minds and this the kick didn't come off at all. Patton kicks. It's got depth, but Lockie Howe read it well. Around the grounds for Mr P Stowe's pool world and North Orby lead Wangaratta by six points. In the second quarter, Howes kick inside forward 50. John A. Spina was there. A lot of pigeons down over the footy. Fobbergill was one of them. And it'll be wrapped up just to continue those scores around the ground. Aubrey 56, Raiders 21, Wangaro Rovers 49, Corora 14, North Aubrey 35, Wang 29, and Bulldogs 23, Myrtleford 28. I know we're calling Myrtleford versus Wodonga on 3 and A, but I reckon there'll be a fair few mentions of the North Wang game on that station. Yeah, I won't be doing too much calling. Inside forward 50, Harry Wheeler up and under. Leroy, he marks this time. 20 metres out, he'll kick from maybe even closer on a 45 degree angle. 50. He'll kick from the top of the square now, Mont, with a 50 metre penalty. Yeah, John O'Spinner wasn't too happy with something that happened in the marking contest. He, as soon as the mark was taken, went turned straight to the umpire and then had a few words to say. So he'll go back and put this one through. Leroy, for I've his already, first goal. I've already marked it down, Leroy, and he kicks beautifully. He hits the old commentary box, and some young tackers going to have to do a fair bit of work to go and get that footy. Leroy's on the board. 5-5-35, the Yarrawonga Pigeons. Lavington, 1-3-9. It's on the CMV truck and bus scoreboard. Dan Vaccaro, 40 winks. Yeah, big goal there to give away from Lavington. So seven inside 50s now and a great finish there by Lee Williams. Probably just a little bit silly by Spina. Could have pushed him to the angle and pushed it across the face and they're still in the contest, Lavi. But a big goal for big goal for Yarrawonga. Nick Fothergill, he's been important up forward. He's up to the nine disposals and a goal for Yarrawonga. Willie Wheeler, he has had the ten disposals this half of footy. Cam Wilson being quiet this quarter, just the two disposals. Disposals, Bailey Fraunfelder, three disposals, and Willie Wheeler's had the eight disposals this game. 
Monty for the Newmarket Hotel. Young Hunter Fraunfeld has been quite active, hasn't he? Yeah, I reckon he's been great so far. He's really shown that the Fraunfelder name carries through and the talent carries through because I think he's been fantastic in his first taste of it. And, um, yeah, he's done some nice things. He hasn't just uh, got the touches. He's done the one percenters too, a couple of smothers and a couple of tackles. So he's been fantastic. Yeah, and just it was right down in front of you a couple of minutes ago, young uh, Jack Costello, just a little bit inexperienced. He did all the hard work to get to the contest. Then he just gave it away with a bit of a, free, you know, a lazy free kick. But uh, Willie Wheeler gets it out of the middle, handles it to Nyholm, back over the top to Willie Wheeler. Good work by Glanville and Hargraves, and they create a stoppage. But the ball has gone inside forward 50 for 40 winks. One of those Yarrawonga inside 50. Is this quarter, please, Daniel? Up to eight now, Robbie. Thank you very much. You've really bounced back from a sluggish performance last week, I thought. Good grab at half back by Ryan Bruce. Fantastic. A, a, Elite body and paint player of the day, Gus. I don't know about you. Nyholm chips short and finds William. Oh, sorry, Lovell. Lovell, who's normally a defender, turned forward, kicks towards Williams. Good use of the body. Spina got a crucial fist. Umpire left the whistle away. O'Brien was impacting the contest. Lavington spill it out wide, trying to find Bevan. Little grubber kick gets about 15 metres. Lockie Howes there. Clever vision, but the execution was poor. Inside 50. Well done, Lovell. Lavington needs some support around the footy. They don't get it. The ball goes backwards to Maury. Now here's a go inside 50 goes Robinson. Grubber kick. Annette's got some work to do for Lavington. Put his head over the footy. It's a pretty ordinary contest here. Billy Glanville dives on top of it. And at the bottom of the pack, very slow to get up as Willie Wheeler will bring the footy back into play via a ball up. 25 from Yarrawonga's goal. Good stuff, Gussie. Hannah got the tap. Looks like it was a net there, got one a yeah. little bit high. Well, he did or he didn't, he put enough mayo on it to convince the umpire. And he'll have it at half back, 35 to 9, Yarrawonga lead. They have just been solid today. And that chips wide, oh. O'Brien, it goes over his head, Hopper's there and it clean bowled him. He lost leg stump, did Sammy Hopper in front of Ryan Einspawn. It'll be a boundary throw in. Is Again. this the pickle juice man, Mont? This is the pickle juice man, boys, so he better be able to get this in after the yeah, pickle juice. What a nice do. He's, have you had a look, look at the hairdo on this man? It's very just classy. blowing in the Robert. breeze there beautifully. Look at that. And it's a lovely oh, throw to a polished worked. performance from a polished operator by the look of him. Look away handball was good by Hargraves. A little dimmy and shake there by Billy Glanville. Ball goes towards half forward. Shawnee o. Driscoll couldn't do anything about it. Quick kick there by Tyson. And Glanville... He's going to get a free kick for over the shoulder there, Gus. He goes backwards to Willis. And he goes to Patton. Patton, sorry. They both got blue boots on today, yeah. Big Mac. High up and under inside forward 50. Here's a go for the Panthers. They're going to have a shot. Working his way beautifully was a net underground kick. In fact, it was Gaffney. And Gaffney's kick, probably the best result there, Monty. It was an ordinary kick off the boot, so a boundary throwing deep in the pocket was probably the best thing that could come from that. Yeah, from the kick, but a goal would have been pretty handy. Goal would have been very handy. <laughs> not a noted goal kicker, is nah, Gaff. No, he's not. He's a fan on the wing, and he's just coming off for a rest too. So, um, yeah, obviously working very hard to get inside 50 and help out. So Howe's going to go up in the ruck here, and they are 45 metres from the boundary. Yeah, I'll, yeah, be, I'll be running in because yeah. this young fella's just run 150 metres to get to this throwing. Yep. He's, he's cooked. This will fall very short. Look at that. Falls the way of Howe, he takes it out of the ruck and kicks it out beautifully. He finds Ryan Einspawn in the back pocket. Empty head go. Empty head is running very, very hard. Well spotted by you, Monty, for the New Market Hotel. He's our man, Pendergast, or empty head as we call him. He's a serious footballer, kicks down the line beautifully. Fraunfelder just got ragdolled off the footy there by big Tim Hanna. Umpire left it alone. Here's a go now for Russell, kicks up the centre half forward. Well done by Oosterhoff to impact the contest. Drag that in. And the umpire says, we'll ball the footy up, Monty. Thought he might have given away a free kick. Yeah, just as he went to ground there, Big Driscoll just dragged it back in. Normally you see that one paid as holding the footy. So Big Jack. Now here's the rooster into the ruck against Howe. And we're going to have another ball up here. Another stalemate. It's, not, it's nothing easy coming out to the beauty of Yarrawonga's defence. No easy kicks. Rooster works hard. Now it's out the back. Tommy Hargrave, one of the best clearance operators in the competition. Willis, hard at the footy. Followed up by Russell. Good work by Basil Fraunfelder. Jesus, he's a bit ugly in there at the moment. There's all sorts of things happening in there. 
Hargraves shovel it out, shuffle it out. They're still going in. Now it breaks clear. Here's a chance for Tommy Hargraves again. On the left foot, over the back, Charlie Sanson. Couldn't hang on to one, and it spills through for a minor score. one 4 10 Lavington, Yarrawonga, 5-5-35. 24 and a half minutes gone on the uh, NZ time clock. Yeah, super impressed with Tom Hargrave's performance this quarter. Up to the six disposals on the 40 wing stat sheet. 11 for this game as well. And he's helping Lavi get to their 10th uh, inside 50 for this quarter. 35 plays 10. Yarrawonga lead the contest. Well done by Hopper. Just got a crucial fist on that to impact the contest. And the ball of footy back into play, 50 metre from Lavington's goal. Monty, the Panthers would love a goal here on the eve of halftime. Absolutely. I only scored the one goal, but they've been able to really nullify Yarrawonga this quarter. It's been eight minutes since the last So, if you have Lavington, it can come out in the third quarter and really kickstart their game. Wheel up, that's Harry. Well done by Test on through his hands. And he slipped over as he did so. Wilson, high up and under down the line. Well done. Annette got taken high. Umpire ignored it. Handball over the top was okay from O'Brien. And Timmy Hanna, he's going to hug the boundary line, but hug it a bit too much because it's out of bounds on the full. Deep in the pocket, Whooper Irvine is going to be the recipient of the free kick. 26 minutes gone for NZ, almost 27. And Lavington Trail, 1 4 10. Yarrawonga 5 5 35 for CMV Truck and Bus. Urquhart and a Driscoll fly, Shawnee, and it goes out for a boundary front. Around the grounds for Mr. Stowe's pool. Well, we've had two games on level. North Aubrey and Wangra are 35 apiece, and Wodonga and Myrtleford, 28 apiece. So a couple of really good games evolving there. Ball comes in. How might have pushed out. It's okay. Cam Wilson over the back. Kicked it towards Lovell. Lovell shoveled at the wheeler, Willie, and he's got one high too. And it's, We've seen a lot of those free kicks today, boys. Willie Wheeler, Sunshine is out. Wheeler kicks towards half forward. Casey's there from behind. Butler, kick off the ground by Fornfelder was smart. There'll be a Shepherd involved here. Fornfelder, if he gets this and goes, look out, Lavington. Nice work there, though. Very determined work there. Was it Jesse Hart? I think it was. Gee, did well there. Why a little bit of a push towards Spina by Williams. It's gone over the boundary line. 20 around. From the, Lavin, uh, from the Pigeons' goal lead, 35-10. to 10. Monty, quickly for you, for the Newmarket Hotel. Yeah, completely different game styles to last week, boys, as we spoke about with the weather conditions. It's just been a lot scrappier, and last week they were able to open it up, and there was a lot more changes too, obviously, with the hotter weather. So the boundary throw-ins come into play. Cam Wilson and Fothergill at the bottom of the pack will ball the footy up. So 27 and a half minutes gone for NZ. Only three goals in this term, six for the game. So we're getting close to the main break. Well done by Williams in the ruck. Kogel was the target. He left it alone. Spina's got some work to do with Casey entering the party. Both the players jump on top of the football. And the umpire calls for a restart. As the siren sounds for half-time here at the Lavington Sports Ground, the second term for J.K. Aubrey-Wodonga comes to a close. And Yarrawonga, they still maintain a strong lead. 5-5-35 to Lavington, 1-4-10. Not the best half of footy we've seen but hopefully as the sum comes out in the second half, it makes a better looking football. Stan Vaccaro, Scott Montgomery, Robbie McKinlay and myself, Gus McLeod with you on the other side of the break. The Halftime Show on O&M Live, where you won't miss a thing. What's your future look like? Where do you want to be? Shaping lives through nursing? Building communities through community services? Maybe caring for animals through veterinary science? With GoTave by your side, you can make it happen. From agriculture, hospitality, health and wellbeing, trades and education, to hair and beauty or creative, learn real skills for real jobs and careers right now. With GoTave, you've got this. Search GoTave today. AY, we're your home of live sport. Every weekend, we bring you the best live broadcasts of the Ovens and Murray football and netball. Listen this weekend on your radio or the 2AY app.
Detroit Insurance and Risk, your local insurance advisor, able to tailor insurance programs to support your business. And we're proud to support our local community. Zero point zero percent alcohol. This changes everything. <laughs> Rewrite the rules, Carlton Zero. why we're your home of live sport every weekend we bring you the best live broadcasts of the ovens and murray football and netball listen this weekend on your radio or the 2ay app pain or injury can stop you from living life to the fullest aubrey wodonga private hospital specializes in advanced orthopedic services and offers a full range of care from diagnosis to surgery and rehabilitation get back to the life you love with our support Half price until half time is on in the locker room. Watch Friday night AFL footy action live on our big screen and get half price selected beers until half time. On now in the locker room at the SSNA. Oh, and then live on 2AY. And welcome back to the Lavington Sports Ground for the Elders Rural Halftime Show. Joining me in the box are Dan Beccaro, the number one, two stats man. Both. Depends who you do it with, really. <laughs> yeah. And Bobby Jackson, of course. And boys, I'll tell you what, a bit of a scrappy half of football at the moment. It's 5 5 35, Yarrawonga leading Lavington 1 4 10, 25 point lead. But probably big story to come out of it is just how sloppy it's been and we've spoken about it a couple of times it is quite wet out there but yeah i just feel that the skill errors are more to do with decision making than maybe the football probably just yeah a really sloppy first half to be honest it was probably not easy on the eye but i, I really feel like i really like lavington's second quarter um i think they nullified yarrawonga's entries into the forward 50 and they got some themselves so 11 to 12 that quarter lavington so they evened up the contest but yeah, oh, i still feel that Lavi t lavington have the same thing that happened last year the same problem is that they just don't put enough scoreboard pressure on and that's exactly what's happening at the moment Mon. Oh, sorry, boys. It's definitely been a hard watch. Um, the game seems to have been played between the two 50s. Uh, Lavington seemed to have made a, 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 a change at quarter time. Mike. We spoke off air a little bit about it, where they were rolling up to the stoppage a little bit. They seemed to have not have done that as much at quarter, and that even then halved up the, the inside 50s. I think, yep. as Dan just said, that uh, they equaled or halved the competition within the, the competition, I suppose you could say, Mike. But, uh, yeah, six goals to half time. I'm don't think the conditions sort of suggest that it's a six-goal game. It is quite blowy out there, but it is blowing across the ground, and you've seen a couple of shots, like I think Charlie Sanson had a shot, which normally he'd make 
be a lot better kick than that. It's missed out on the full by a long kick. way. Yeah, normally quite a nice kick. Yeah. Um, you know, Yarra Wongas probably could have missed their opportunity to kick two or three more. Um, from Felder with uh, Williams where he missed him. All that sort of stuff. A couple of times he gone inside 50 and just missed the kick. So uh, potentially it could be more. But I think the defensive pressure of Lavington has been really good and been able to hold up pretty well at the moment. And we spoke about it off air. We feel maybe Lee Williams might be carrying something just the way he's moving. He's moving okay, but his kicking's really off. And John O'Spinner's probably doing a good job just really trying to wrap him mm. up and, and not get beaten in the one-on-ones. Just quickly, our goal kickers for Yarrawonga. We've got two to Matt Casey, singles to Nick Fothergill, one to Logan Morey and one to Lee Williams, while just a solitary goal to Connor Willis, which was a nice snap goal um, in that second quarter. 40 wing stats, Vax, what are they telling us? What do they look like for the teams? And then go to the individuals. Yeah, so the teams, the centre clearances are pretty much a null and void because none of them's a clear clearance every single time. So two to three in that area. Really well adjudicated game, I feel. 11 to 13, the free kick count in favour of Yarrawonga. But the inside 50s, Lavington 24 to Yarrawonga's 30. So they fought back a lot that quarter, and that's evident. Uh, the marks inside 50, three to four in favour of Yarrawonga as well. So obviously not the conditions for it. Uh, and then we go through the individual stats. I really feel like Lavington need a bit of a lift from Jake. O'Brien. He's only had five touches to half time. Usually one of their best ball users, especially outside of the contest as well. Sammy Hopper again, only six disposals, and he's a really prominent player off their half back line as well. Uh, Tommy Hargrave, I thought, has been really impressive in that centre. Uh, 11 disposals for him. Shawnee Driscoll, really quiet second quarter, but he's had six for the game. Billy Glanville, I feel like, has been one of Lavington's better players. He's had 14 disposals. As we go over to Yarrawonga, Nick Folliger, who's been fantastic up forward for them. Nine disposals and a goal. Harry Wheeler continuing his good work as he does does every single week. 11 disposals on the 40-wing stat sheet. Cam Wilson, 10 disposals. Bailey Fraunfeld has been handy off halfback, 10 disposals. And Willie Wheeler, 10 disposals on the 40-wing stat sheet, Mon. Now, Bob, obviously we've spoken about it's not a great game of footy, but who's caught your eye? Any of the players out there you think are probably standing out just that little bit more than everyone else? I think the Fraunfelder boys have got a little bit of upside, and I think we mentioned Jake O'Brien in the, in the call as well. I think those three guys uh, particularly have stood out. Uh, I'm impressed with the way Glanville works. He's a bit of a workhorse, and he complements uh, Sammy Hargraves nicely around the stoppages. I just feel as though that, that Lavington need a little bit more out of their uh, B and C graders, I suppose, whereas Yarra, they're more top-end talent. So uh, the two the two Fraunfeld boys are, are very talented. You know, I can see that the Lockie Howe and Kogel uh, double-teaming Timmy Hanna in the ruck. I think that's a, that's something that could play out late, late in the game. Uh, but yeah, the, the the general midfield of the two Wheeler boys uh, are working they're working really, really hard. So that's a good contest between the, two, the Wheeler brothers and Hargrave and Glanville. So yeah, I'm, I'm pretty impressed with some of the midfield that's, that's rolling around out there. Mike. Yeah, Hunter Frontfelder is a great one, isn't he? Coming late for Dan Howe, which we just got word has shingles. That's why he's wow. missing. So Extraordinary. not normally a guy who's about 25 gets shingles. But <laughs> anyway, um, we'll move on with that. But Hunter Frontfelder's got his chance. And I'll tell you what, it's going to be hard to drop if he continues the form he's shown in the first half because he's been absolutely fantastic. So um, what we'll do now, we'll go around the grounds for Mr. Stowe's Pool World and get some other halftime scores. Vax, what's happening around the grounds? We will. So we'll go to Aubrey Sports Ground first. So it's Aubrey 9 10 64 to Wodonga Raiders 4 4 28. So looks like Raiders are obviously trying, but Aubrey are just far too strong. And Wangaratta Rovers 8 7 55. Leading Coral Rutherglen 2 2 14. Uh, and then we go over to the absolute pearler of a matchup by the sounds of it. Bunton Park 5 5 35 to Wangaratta Seniors 5 6 36 as well. So what a contest that is. And then another great contest Martin Park. Mark Wodonga, Bulldogs 3, 10, 28 to Murderford Seniors 4, 4, 28. So a couple of really mouthwatering Three, games ten, there, Mont. You'd say there's probably been some missed opportunities then, wouldn't you? Yeah. Um, mm. What we'll do now, we'll just get a quick Ray White Rural Netball update yeah. and all our full-time Nailed scores it. as they start at 1 o'clock. <laughs> uh, we have North Orbit taking on Wangaratta, and Wangaratta's got the points there, 41 to 39. Uh, Cora continuing their winning ways, 2-0 to start with the girls in their reset, 55 to 34 against the Rovers. A nail biter down at Martin Park with Wodonga taking the win by four points over the Saints. So yeah. they're 0 2, the Saints who played finals last year. Uh, here at the Lavington Sports Ground, we had Yarrawonga 39 defeat Lavington 27. So a really good win there against the reigning Premiers. And the Wodonga Raiders are showing why they're the flag favourites. Also 2 0, 41 32 against the Aubrey Tigers. Let's put our coaching hats on here, boys. What does Adam Snyder need to do? And what would he be saying in the rooms at half time to try and get back into this game and, and hope to run away with the points. 
I think they need to have more contests across half forward, the Panthers. Uh, a little bit more out of um, Driscoll and Sanson across half forward. I think you'd be asking for a little bit more out of those guys to provide either uh, a clear contest or half a contest to bring their small forwards and uh, pushing forward uh, uh, on ballers into the game. Also, I saw a couple of uh, forward 50 marks from young Glanville, so there might be an option for him to float forward and provide a... Um, provide an option forward as well. So I, I just think a couple of targets here or there for um, the Panthers up across the half forward line would would hopefully get them back into the game, yeah. Yeah, yeah. and I Max? Bob, well, Bob nailed it. I think the scoreboard pressure is the biggest thing for Lavington. <coughs> they're sort of, you can even mount the argument that they're matching them everywhere around the ground. It's just when they get it forward, they just can't figure out a yep. way to score. So whether they throw, throw a couple of numbers around on the board um, and try and get something forward and just put a little bit of scoreboard pressure on it is the big thing for Lovey. Does Adam Butler go forward? Yeah. Potentially. He's, he hasn't had that. to do a lot down back, has he? So yeah. maybe he does go forward. Um, Casey was good early, kicked the two goals, but I think he died out of it yes. a little bit. Um, and if Williams is a bit, you know, bit off, maybe someone else can go. I really like and, the and Butler one because you don't really want to tamper too much with the midfielders. So, like, you don't really want to throw... I'd be cautious throwing like Glanville or Jakey O'Brien up forward mm. because he's undoing a lot of good work yes. in their midfield. So I really like the idea of someone like Butler. Going I'd like forward. to see him get a bit more speed in their forward line. Jack Costello, maybe someone yeah. like that. I think they're a little yeah. bit top heavy with the three talls down there at the moment. The ball's in there a bit scrappy. There's not really free flowing football coming through the middle of the ground. It's a lot of kick it over the top and yeah. they're trying to run back onto it. And the Yarrawonga defence is way too quick with Bruce and Fronfelder and guys like that back there. I feel that, yeah, just a little bit top heavy. And if they could just get a little bit more leg speed in there, yeah. then maybe they're a chance of maybe uh, picking one or two. Young Ewan McKinlay would be very handy. I'd be very handy. Um, he lo he well, loved these so. conditions last year a couple of times. Didn't he? Yeah. I would have just bring everyone up, really shorten the ground up and get it out the back and mm. use his leg speed. But then we look over at Stevie J. What would he be saying? He'd be pretty happy, I think. I think the skill errors is something he's mentioned at quarter time. They probably just need to clean that up and they've probably kicked another four or five goals. That, that'd be the thing that'd be on the whiteboard. Clean up. I think you mentioned it at half time. They're a bit rushed. They uh, overlooked the, the conditions a little bit. And I think they need to be a little bit clean, a little bit more precise going forward. The thing that stood out for me last week when they played Wodonga, they took their time and they were more methodical. I think the word Vax yep. used a few times in the pre-match where they were methodical with the ball. They could slow it down a bit, take the sting out of the game until they get control. And then all of a sudden it opened up from after yeah. half-time last week. So I, I dare say that would be a similar message. Uh, a little bit more out of, as we said, you know, Casey fell away at half, uh, uh, after quarter time. You know, Kogel was, wasn't uh, as damaging and you know, leaving it all up to, to Lee, Lee Masters. Uh, Williams. Lee Williams up forward, you know, who looks like he's not 100%. I think that's a little bit too much to ask. And, yeah. uh, you know, those sort of players will bring Follicle more into the game. Yeah, and they're the best team at it. That uncontested mark, move the ball and sort of play the game on their terms. And the ground's going to be a little bit dry now going into the second half and it's a little bit more sunny. So I, I think Yarrawonga are really just going to sort of chip around and play that sort of long game. Yeah. I'd love them to get clear up the forward line a little bit. Maybe Williams yeah. comes out and get Follicle down there deep. We know how dangerous he is. He's a 40-plus goal kicker last year. Hit the scoreboard really well last week, kicked four on Sunday. So I feel that, yeah, if they can get him around the footy, I just want to get more leg speed in the forward yep. half at the moment for both teams. I feel that will really open the game up, and get the big boys up the ground a little bit, be that contested mark down the line if they need to be. It's funny you mention that. Who kicked all the goals against Levington last week? Yeah, the smalls. Yeah, all the yeah. Smalls. yeah. yeah. Brasher. 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 Because their small defender is probably something they're missing, really, Lavington. Like, Chris Annette's you know, a very good defender, but he's short of a gallop. Just got married a few weeks ago, so he's been overseas for two weeks leading up to round one. So, <laughs> so what do you say? Yeah, maybe he's not quite <laughs> the best Nick, is what I'm Are saying. Are you speaking from experience, Mark? <laughs> no, no, I just, I've been talking to Chrissy Annette, so <laughs> I know what it's all about. Anyway, that's the halftime show for Elders Rural. Just another quick rap date. Up. A score update, if I Rep. spit that one out. Yarrawonga, 5-5-35, five, five, <laughs> leading the Panthers by 25 points, 1-4-10. We'll be back all the third quarter action after this break. You're listening to O&M Live, and on O&M Live, you won't miss a thing. What's your future look like? Where do you want to be? Shaping lives through nursing? Building communities through community services? Maybe caring for animals through veterinary science? With GoTave by your side, you can make it happen. From agriculture, hospitality, health and wellbeing, trades and education, to hair and beauty or creative, learn real skills for real jobs and careers right now. With GoTave, you've got this. Search GoTave today. At 2AY, we're your home of live sport. 
Every weekend, we bring you the best live broadcasts of the Ovens and Murray football and netball. Listen this weekend on your radio or the 2AY app. Adroit Insurance and Risk, your local insurance advisor, able to tailor insurance programs to support your business. And we're proud to support our local community. Zero point zero percent alcohol. This changes everything. <laughs> Rewrite the rules, Carlton Zero. AY, we're your home of live sport. Every weekend, we bring you the best live broadcasts of the Ovens and Murray football and netball. Listen this weekend on your radio or the 2AY app. Pain or injury can stop you from living life to the fullest. Aubrey Wodonga Private Hospital specialises in advanced orthopaedic services and offers a full range of care from diagnosis to surgery and rehabilitation. Get back to the life you love with our support. Half price until half time is on in the locker room. Watch Friday night AFL footy action live on our big screen and get half price selected beers until half time. On now in the locker room at the SSNA. For locals. O and M live on 2AY. Welcome back to the Lavington Sports Ground. Players are making their way back into their lineups, and the halftime score sees Yarrawonga 5-5-35, Lavington 1-4-10 on the Inspirations Paint scoreboard. Boundary side for the Newmarket Hotel is Scott Montgomery. He'll make his way out onto the ground which starts to have a little bit of sun up here on it, Monty. Yeah, well, Robbie said in the second quarter the sun was poking out and it actually has poked out now, boys. So uh, it's good to see. Might be able to draw out this wing a little bit, hopefully. Hey, Big Mac, we've got a special guest in the commentary box. We have, mate. Got, uh, he was on the front. Uh, yeah, he's a couple of weeks ago. Ollie Harris presenting his dad, Sam, a cricket premiership medal. So Ollie's going to sit in here with us to start the, uh, the second half. Gussie. Thanks, Big Mac. Take, Take it away. away big... oh, I'll go. In you, you go, have power. You Third have quarter crack. action. Lockie Howe, he won the tap for Yarrawonga. Coming through nicely was Wheeler. That was Willie. Kicks the centre half forward. Lovell dropped the chest mark. Kogel, bit of work to do. And Bev, and he might be done for a dump tackle here. Umpire let it slide. We'll ball the footy up at centre half Jeez, forward that for umpire, Yarrawonga. That umpire is holding on for dear life up top just quietly too, boys. Might just need to give up, I reckon. Give it a shave. All right. Bit of feedback from Vax. Full kick swing and a miss by Billy Glanville. Tommy Hargraves, just a quick kick's good. Sammy Hopper did well, held onto it. Kicks it to centre wing. Whooper Irvine takes a good grab. 
And he'll bring it across this side of the ground, near to the commentary side, kicks a beauty. Harry Wheeler takes the mark. Billy Glanville stands the mark, looks at his options. He goes long. Williams and Spina, one out. Coming through was Hopper, got a fist. Annette's there, and they'll just see it through over the, over the line for a point. First score of the second half. Yarrawonga 5 6 36. Lavington 1 4 10. And Monty, great work there by Sammy Hopper. Did really well, got that fist in on it. Yeah, that defensive wingman role really suits him. He gets back in the holes all the time in front of the big boys and really helped out there, John O'Spinner. Looks like Patton's got the kick in Judy's boys. Pretty nice kick of the Sharon. On debut, comes down the broadcast side wing, kicks the two Ruckman. Free kick, whistle for a hold. Lavington <laughs> of the recipient with Tim Hanna. I think they both had a fair chunk of the jumpers yeah. there, boys. I think Locks a bit stiff, probably play on was the right call. Hanna goes short, finds his way to its intended target in Costello. The youngster. It's a nice looking kick to Driscoll. Driscoll marks, true centre wing goes to Glanville. Glanville's kick was poor. It was really poor. It's turned over at centre half back. That's the sort of play, Monty, that's letting Lavington down. Absolutely it is. He gave it to a runner who was under the pump a little bit, and that's why the pressure was on the kick. And yeah, just those sort of kicks going inside 50 aren't going to get him on the scoreboard too often. Good kick by your cousin too, Mont, Jeff Montgomery. He's showing a bit, Jeffy. He found Casey. Look at Lockie Howe over the back here. Hannah chases him. Howe, Howe fists it forward about 15 metres. Fovagul over the footy, got out of the road, luckily, of Timmy Hannah. And it'll be a ball up. Grandstand pocket, 30 out from the Yarrawonga goal. They lead 36 to 10. Been a, a scrappy old game. Hasn't reached great heights. There's been plenty of pressure. Tackling's been good. Just hasn't opened up yet. Howe wins another tap. Knocked away there by Coghill to the top of the goal square. Williams, another fist. Ball comes to ground. Fovagul to himself. Spun around. Snapshot on goal. Harry Wheeler, was it? And it's through for a minor score on the right-hand side. So the Pigeons, with two points to start the second half, Gussie, lead 37-10. to 10, And we're doing this one for Indigo Power. They're going to look to come to this broadcast side once again, which Monty has described throughout the call as being the wetter of the two sides. That's a beautiful kick from Patton to hit O'Brien on the chest. Across half back on the arc of 50. Umpire calls him to play on. He waits for an option. Nothing comes, so he kicks a high up under down the line. Rooster flew high, made a contest. Willis was unrealistic, and Costello applies a big tackle, Monty, for the new market hotel. Yeah, a lot of the look of young Jack Costello. Obviously, got his taste late last year and played in the Premiership as well for the Lovington Thirds, but he's been a good today. And he's a tenacious character, little Jack. Whoop, Irvine, handball, Harry Wheeler, through traffic, quick hands, nicely to brother Willie, into half forward, keep an eye on Casey, great pick up Lee Williams, ball came clear, Spina for Lavington, he's in trouble here, he did okay, got it out to Butler, Butler pumps it to half back, but it's going to be marked by Lockie Howe, he's got a lot of options, Fraunfeld has won, now if he gets around on his left foot, trouble here, a little chipping kick, and it's been marked at half forward. Geordie Urquhart. And it's Geordie Urquhart who snuck down, I reckon, Monty from half back. Yeah. Here's yeah. Basil. He gives a lead, no problem. Lovell's there, and Lovell marks in the forward pocket. We we're talking off here about Tyler Lovell, a much improved player. Absolutely. I think we said that we probably didn't give enough credit towards him last year. He was really good in some of their games as that small running defender, and he's just shown that his work rate's second to none and just moves forward. He kicks it back to Urquhart. There you go. So I reckon Geordie Urquhart's almost in the same position where it all started from. The angle's a little bit better. And the distance should be an issue. Is a breeze right behind him there, Mont? Yeah, it's sort of going to push it towards the right, towards the grandstand a little bit, boys. So Left-hand yeah. goal post, Mont? Uh, probably just in, uh, to halfway through the points, nearly. The halfway way through yeah. the points, Monty's calling. Kick on the way. Won't make the journey. O'Brien is there in case. And Patton sees it over the boundary line. Five metres around from the behind post. Three and a half minutes gone for Indigo Power. And Yarrawonga lead 37 to 10, and that's on the Inspirations Paint scoreboard. It's a boundary throw in, deep into attack for the Pigeons. Williams on the tap. Driscoll tried to keep his shape. Bevan came through, wrapped up in a Fothergill tackle. Cam Wilson joined in. The umpire calls for another restart. So five minutes gone here in the third term, thanks to Indigo Power. Two minor scores the way of the Pigeons. Beautifully read by Willie Wheeler. That is simp. Oh, he hit the post. It was simply superb out of the ruck from Williams to Wheeler, and all he had to do was finish, but he kicked it straight into the upright, Monty. Absolutely. How well did he read that tap there, but just wasn't able to finish. I reckon he was ready to celebrate, celebrate too, boys, but just didn't quite curl the way he wanted it. Sun Jan point of the day, perhaps, lads. Big time. Yeah, Hart. 
took the kick in from Patton, gave it back to him, and a good grab by the rooster. You got to pay that. He does. So the mark is taken by Tim Oosterhoff. If you're wondering who we're talking about when we mention the rooster. Shawnee Driscoll from behind. Can't get on the third grab. Nice work by Russell. Got it to Connor Willis. Robinson wasn't looking initially. Harry Wheeler was there putting pressure on him. Connor Willis followed up his good work. And quick leg, it numbers around the ball. Costello there for Lavington. Very good through traffic. Left foot kick to Hargraves. I'm not sure if he knows behind him. He goes all right. Kicks it into half auto. Brian marks. There's an open gold square at the moment. I think Jakey O'Brien's just got to go back and have a shot here. First chance Lavington's had to get the footy out in the open there. Tommy Hargrove just spilled out his way from Jack Costello. Again, we've spoken about the young fellow. was fantastic in getting that footy out to Tommy, his captain. And then the kick inside 50 hit Jakey O'Brien, who read the ball beautifully. And as you said, Robbie, really needs to go back and put this one through for Lavington. That's Scott Montgomery for the Newmarket Hotel. Normally a very nice kick of the ball, Jake O'Brien. Comes in, 45 out. Oh, kick on the way, he's pushed it right and he won't even get the journey. There's a hands on the ball over the back. They've got the numbers of pigeons. They pump it back whence it came. Over the back, Billy, uh, Jesse Hart's there. Might have got one high. Marsh was there. Handball to Gaffney. Gaffney kicks well. A half forged Driscoll. Ball comes to ground. Nyholm gave a release back to Urquhart. And now they're going to get themselves out of trouble here, I reckon. Well, Bailey Fraunfelder was legged. The umpire's paid danger. kicking in danger. Falls the way of Billy Glanville. 35 from home. It's across the face. Or is it? It's marked on the line. Or taken across the line by Big Jack Driscoll. Another chance goes to begging for the Lavington Panthers. They move to one goal, 5-11. Yarrawonga, 5-8, 38. That's on the Inspirations Paint scoreboard. Pendergast will kick in from fullback. For Yarrawonga towards the broadcast side wing. Wheeler flew oh. high, unrealistic. Should have given away a free kick. The umpire ignored it. Einspawn goes short trying to find Cam Wilson. Gets a favourable bounce. Shimmies kicks in board. Lee Williams. He marks oh. 35 <laughs> metres out, Monty, and he is carrying something. He is be. looking to give the ball off at every chance. Yeah, yeah, as soon as he took that, he wanted the handball to a runner then, didn't he? So he's definitely carrying something, boys. We're not sure what it is. We'll try and find out post-game, but we'll wait and see how this boot one comes off the boot to just really see if he is carrying something or not. He's kicked one goal, two, and he's given off about two or three in between. 45 metres out on a 45-degree angle. Lee Williams comes in, kicks beautifully. Why would he want to give him off when he can kick him over the goal umpire's hat? Goal post high. It's Yarrawonga's six and Leroy's second. 44 plays nine on the CMV truck and bus scoreboard. Yeah, what a great finish there by Lee Williams. He's kicked two goals, two five inside 50s now for Yarrawonga, but they've been really potent going forward. Four marks as well this quarter inside 50. Harry Wheeler been really good. He's up to three disposals this quarter. 14 for the game. Willie Wheeler as well, three disposals and 13 for the game. So both Wheelers doing some good work. Lovington had a good little period there. Three inside 50s. Tommy Hargrove being good. Jake O'Brien started the quarter really well. Two early disposals for him on the 40-wing stat sheet. So he's kicked the last two goals of the game, Lee Williams, which are his first two goals of the season. He was kept scoreless down at Mole Whaler on Sunday last week. The tap there was good by Cogill. Wheeler kicks it out of the middle. It was Nyholm. Now it falls out the back. Wilson, Lovell is a chance. Cam Wilson did well. He stays over the footy. And it's going to be a ball up. Deep into attack for Yarrawonga. What are the inside forward 50s for this quarter for 40 wings, please, Vax? Yeah, six inside 50s for Yarrawonga, three for Lavington, Robbie. Yep. Just the one goal to show for it thus far. Drewy Bevan got it and has been mobbed by a flock of pigeons. Gussie, I don't know what you call that. Actually, you'd know, Robert. No, I don't. I could make something up. Casey, he left it alone in the ruck, but he got his own football back. Kick towards the top of the goal square was okay from Nyholm. Looking for Lee Williams across the face for a minor score. The Panthers, they trail 1 5 11, Yarrawonga 6 9 45. And Monty, that breeze is starting to pick up. We can hear through our ambience. Yeah, mic. it's definitely picked up, boys. But as I said, it's not favouring anyone, it's more just across the ground. So that's probably why they're playing this dead side, trying to defend to, to where the breeze is going to take the footy. Hop up. Off half back, he spots up Shawnee Driscoll, kicks well weighted, and he marks. Well, Billy Glanville wasn't looking. Driscoll wanted to feed a handball out. Ollie Harris has just pinched the last of my red snakes. Hopper has it again at half back, kicks it to centre wing. That ball just holding a little bit up and pushing on the breeze, and it lands Mont just inside the boundary there. Yeah, great kick for touch there from Sammy Hopper, <laughs> just inside the boundary line. Perfect. He did indeed. So it'll be a throw him back in right in front of the Yarrawonga. 
interchange there. It's 6 9 45 Yarra, 1 5 11 Lavington. Backs for 40 winks. Yeah, Lavington, they need to get it forward more. Three inside 50s for no score, so they've got to be better going forward. Third quarter action for Indigo Power. Another 40 winks disposal for Willie Wheeler. Kicks to centre half forward, levels the target. Working hard back in the pack. Lavington have numbers, Ooh. big contest formed. Lovell got involved and Monty for the Newmarket Hotel. Did you like what you saw there? You sort of moaned a bit of motion. Yeah, no, it's perfect there. That sort of forward pressure is what we spoke about in the halftime show. Just need to see that little bit of leg speed and spark them down there. So Whistle off the ball, free yeah. kick in the ruck contest. I think it's going to yeah, go the way of Lavington. Yeah, Drew Bevan's going to get it. I'm not and sure he, what for, Big Mac, but he goes out to O'Brien. He does, good kick to Gussie and he, he finds him. I've just had a information. A Drew from Glen Roy has messaged in. It's a flight of pigeons. There you go. Apparently, so there you go. Make what you like of that, Gus. It's centre wing. And they're going to have another. Oh, no, it won't come. It comes out now. That's one. Geez, they're good at the clearance, Yarrawonga. They kick it half forward towards Casey. Spina now. There's been a change there. Mont to Spina playing on Casey. Uh, Butler on to Williams. I think we might have been just in the loose ball there, Robbie. Just okay. swapped over because they're going back there now. Jono's going to full back. And, and Butty going up to Matty Casey. Sorry, Mon, I was trying to get something happening in this yeah, game. It's not happening much, is no. it, Robbie? Fair enough. 45 plays, 11. Yarrawonga lead Lavington on the Inspirations paint scoreboard. Boundary throwing was OK. Players from both teams dive on top of the football. And another, another restart. Dan Vaccaro, 40 winks. Anything interesting? Uh, not really, Gus. <laughs> Seven inside 50s for Yarra. Three for Lavington at the moment. But it isn't the best game to watch, I'll be honest. Ask a silly question and you get a silly answer. Kick to the top of the goal square. Thank you, Trent, in the studio. Has it gone through the big sticks? I reckon it has. It That's has a indeed. really impressive goal from Kogil. Oh. Just threw it on his boot, something from nothing, and it sailed through goal post high, Mont. How good is that? <laughs> Sometimes you need something like that to spark a game, and that might be the thing that gets Yarrawonga going because they've had all the footy again this quarter, and that's only the second goal for it, so hopefully they can get them going. Around the grounds for Mr. Stowe's Pool World, Aubrey Tigers 84 to Raiders 36, Wangaratta Rovers 79 to Corowa 16, North Aubrey 42 to Wangaratta 43. Wodonga Bulldogs 40 to Murderford 28 on the Mr. Stowe's Pool World around the grounds. Here we go. We're back in the centre here. Driscoll up against the man who just kicked that bomb. Cokehill. Shawnee Driscoll kicks the ball inside forward 50. Sanson was clever. Tapped it inside ball to McLeod. McLeod kicks the rooster marks. 20 out directly in front. It was good lead up play from the cousin of Angus McLeod. Young Judd McLeod and Shawnee Driscoll in the middle. Yeah, how good was that Judd McLeod there? Just the forward line pressure again. We wanted leg speed, wanted some pressure. Gets the foot, the foot on the boot and big all stuff. Missed two of these last week, so hopefully he puts this one through for Lavington. Directly in front, slams it straight through the guts and out onto the number two oval. So the Panthers get their second gold. Margin back to 34 points, 2-5-17. They trail Yarrawonga, 7-9-51. That's almost 14 minutes gone on the NZ time clock. And this one's for Indigo Power, this quarter, Gus. Uh, Monty for the Newmarket Hotel. Maybe some feedback during the re week to Rooster to kick through the footy because he certainly made good contact with that one. Yeah, absolutely. He didn't make <laughs> any mess of it, did he? But just uh, watching down here on the bench, boys, Timmy Hannah's come off with a dislocated finger, so they're just putting it back in and taping him up now, ready to go again. So 51 plays 17. The Panthers are on the board with only their second major of the day. Back live in the middle. 14 minutes gone for NZ. Robinson slipped over at the crucial moment. The Lavington Panthers now joining on the action. Glanville's wanting to get a handball. And City wraps up Howe in a big tackle and will ball the footy up. Just favouring centre for the Lavington Panthers. 51 plays 17. For Inspirations Paint, Yarrawonga lead Lavington. Give that one to Jack Driscoll in the ruck. Willis dispossessed of the footy. Umpires paying a hold. Yeah, didn't have it, Gus. He... Generally, the hold free kick's awarded for Big Mac. Yeah, thanks, Gus. He's, <laughs> already, he's been Lavy's best, Connor He Wallace. has. He's been yeah. very good. Been very good. Nice little drive by, Gus. It's all right, mate. You've got well, a quarter and a half to get me back. <laughs> His kick wasn't great, Robbie, and I'll hand all over to you for McRae Motors. All right, Chris and Ed. It's just to drive this one to half forward. Can they get something happening here? This is a short kick. The rooster's there again. It went over the top of his right shoulder. 
And Ned Pendergast, his direct opponent, got it. Ryan Einspurn got it back to Pendergast. Pendergast kicks it down towards the middle of the ground. Hart from behind, overran the footy. He might be first back on it. He won it well too. Cleared it with a handball over the top to Russell. Got it back to Hart. Hart kicks to centre wing. A couple of players looked at each other. Lockie Gaffney said, oh, I'm going to have to go for it. It's still slippery there. Good work by Logan Morey. Inside handball to Wilson. He was met strongly by Hart. Handball by Driscoll was good to Russell. Back to Gaffney. A lot of pressure. Gaffney spun. Great tackle by Tyler Lovell. And he's going to win the free kick on centre wing. Beautifully played, Pigeons. They're the best pressure team in the comp, I reckon. They lead 51 to 17. 16 minutes gone, third term. Lovell. True centre wing broadcast side for Yarrawonga. Kicks long in the Williams direction. Bit too much on it. And the spill's out of bounds for a boundary throw. And we go boundary side for the Newmarket Hotel. Scott Montgomery's Wilbur Irvine re enters the game. Yeah, as Robbie said, we probably don't give Yarrawonga enough credit for their pressure around the footy. They're one of the best sides at it. And they don't let teams out with free possession like we just saw then. Yeah, I think that's it. They just don't let teams out. Lockie Howe, another big game. He might have got three votes last week. I'll tell you what, he was fantastic. And he's, he's on track again here at the moment. I love the way they still appeal for the deliberate out of bounds. The boys here in the box local. appeal for it too, don't they, Robbie? What was that? The boys up there in the box appeal for it too. Yeah, a couple of them did. A couple got sucked in. Um, just Angus there just had his Metropolitan hat on there for a while. <laughs> they probably play it down there in that league he came from. Well done, big Jack Driscoll. Handball to Sammy Hopper, comes for Charlie Sanson, did well. Clever tap over the top to the rooster. The rooster went to handball, he had a bit of a swing and missed. Glanville didn't have it. Ooh, he might have got a free kick there, Billy. I wonder if that trotter's still going around that was named after him. Leaky Logger. Francis will know. Billy Glanville, he's called Billy Glanville, the trotter. Saturday minutes gone for NZ. 51 play, 17, Yarra lead. He might be cat food now, Gus. <laughs> Yarra lead the, pit, the Panthers. <laughs> We'll leave that one of that. Driscoll, this is Sean, back of the contest. Robinson might have pushed him in the back. Umpire ignored it. A 40 wings disposal for Scott Montgomery. And it looks like Sean Driscoll's cramping a little bit, Monty. Uh, he might need the pickle juice. Maybe there won't be any left after the umpire had some in the second quarter. <laughs> Speak of the devil. This is yeah, him. That's this him. Very flash yeah, looks, hairstyle. I was going to say, him. if this boundary throw in's good, yeah, you can have as much pickle juice as you want. That's a good throw in. How? Took it out of the ruck but fumbled. Hannah got involved once again. On hands and knees was Fothergill. Falls the way of Hargrave. His handball in the hopper direction was poor. Missed the target. Off the back of the pack. Gaffney was okay. Got the ball back onto Hopper once again. Now Hargrave has to kick from a standing start. He goes out wide. Works okay for a net over the top. And get the ball inside 50 cleanly. Willis kicks high up and oh. under. This might go all the way. It has! Sun Jam goal of the day from Connor Willis. He kicks his second and Lavington's much needed third. And that might spark some life back into this Panthers outfit. How good was that? Connor Willis on the run. This goes bang from a long way out. First time Lavington's kicked back-to-back -back goals for the game. So desperately needed that one. Yeah, really positive signs for Lavington here. They've figured out a way to score, guys, which is the most important thing. Six inside 50s now for Lavington. Jake O'Brien been really good this quarter. He's up to four disposals for this game, uh, for this quarter and 10 for the game. Sammy Hopper, Tom Hargrave getting involved as well with five disposals. So positive signs for Lavington. Let's see if they can put some more scoreboard pressure on Yarrawonga. Yeah, Adam Snyder spoke a lot about uh, Connor Willis last season and what we're seeing, he's seeing so much cleaner with the ball at the moment. He's kicked back to back, two goals today. Howe though for Yarrawonga drives the ball into half forward from behind. Hart did well. Truey Bevan did well. Kicked it out to the sort of the half back centre wing area and he'll get a boundary throw in. With a good result there. So the Panthers, they could just sneak another one before three-quarter time, don't concede, don't concede one. They'll give himself a chance, Gussie, to get back into this. They trail currently by 28 points. Only 19 and a half gone, and the quarters have been going around 28 minutes, yep. Big Mac. So hopefully for Lavington's sake, there's a trend that continues. Free kick to Lavington. Umpire calls advantage. Oh. Dangerous kick in board, and it's intercepted by Lovell. We'll get Monty to talk us through that one in a second for the New Market Hotel. Umpire's called Lovell to play on. He comes out in the Lockie Howe direction. His target was Urquhart, but the handball missed him. Wheeler comes back to Irvine, 65 from home. Kicks in the Williams direction. Good fist from the Lavington defender. Trotter was there. Billy Glanville. Lavington have numbers here up the ground, but Urquhart's there. He intercepts. Kicks on a standing start. Inside 450. Good contest. Casey brought it to oh. ground level. Fothergill got pole axed. Gaffney. 
Umpire put the whistle away and we'll ball the footy up. Yeah, Newmarket Hotel, always, Scott Montgomery. Yeah, he's in a bit of trouble, Nick Fothergill. Yeah, Umpire stopped play straight away. He doesn't look good, Monty. I've just got the binoculars on. He's rolled out of that contest and he's very, very slow to get up. It was pretty tough from both players. Clean and fair, but Fothergill looks very ginger. Hopefully it's just winded him. Monty, what have you got for us yeah. down there at boundary level? Yeah, just watching now. They're still holding because Nick Fothergill's still in the contest. Yeah, he's in a bad way, boys. Well, he's sternum. He's yeah. still holding the chest there, Mont. I think um, no, Craig Edney's uh, trying to pull him out here. I reckon he's in a bit of trouble with a bit wobbly on his feet. And um, I think Lockie Gaffney's um, opened up too, boys, so he's coming up with oh, a blood roll. He's got a nasty head clash here. Gee whiz. Fothergill has to come off the ground here, boys, that regardless of whether he's OK or not. you yeah, just got to bring no. him off for a look, don't you? Yeah, absolutely. I don't think he's... Yeah, he's he really refusing to come, come off, off isn't no, he? No, he doesn't want to, does he? It's Craig Edney's just saying, uh, Nick, you don't have a choice here, he's mate. He's holding get his off shoulder too, boys. So, yeah, it's, it's, that's possibly a positive sign in that if he's still, if he's wanting to stay on, it means it's not absolutely kaput. Yeah, it looks like so, it's a bit sore because he's not moving it too well as he's running, boys. His hand, perhaps, or his shoulder, monster. Shoulder, I reckon. Yeah, he definitely had the hand on the shoulder earlier. Really yeah. So we'll ball the footy up deep back for the Yarrawonga pigeon. 20 gone, 51. Nah, boys, boys, I might be a bit worse than just he, the shoulder too. Yeah, he might not too Very old. ginger. Looks like it could have been a the classic old head clash. Billy Glanville did well, got a great handball from Shawnee Driscoll. Kick it to centre wing. Um, Robinson didn't have it. He'll get a free kick here. He does. Yeah, so we'll keep an eye on that one, Mont. On those two players just coming off. It was just a, a, a hard clash. Robertson drives it long. There's space and get the ball out here, but they, this year magnificent. Little Stello, quick handle. Connor Driscoll over the top. Marsh. Shawnee Driscoll might have caught one there too. He's going to get up. He'll be okay. And it's going to be a ball up slightly in attack for Lavington. 22 minutes gone. La Yarrawonga lead by 28 points for Indigo Power. Hannah and Howe to go up in the ruck. Give that one to Tim Hannah. It wasn't a clean tap out of the ruck contest, but he'll have another crack at it. Monty, we'll go to you for the New Market Hotel as the umpire calls for a restart. Yeah, Lockie Gaffney is getting that blood cleaned up. I think they're going to uh, strap him up and he'll be right to go. But um, Nick Fothergill is really taking the deep breaths in and still getting assessed by the medical team. So perhaps a the, the, bit more in that. It might be a head knock. We'll keep an eye on both of those gentlemen. The kick goes towards Willie Wheeler, who Ooh. fumbled it. Did he get it across? Oh. Umpires no. pinned him. I oh, thought he no. got that in the field of play, but the boundary umpire was right on the spot. And he had a better view than us. We won't question him. Boundary throw. Fothergill done, too, boys. Fothergill done. Okay, so Fothergill out, Mont says. Good work there, Mont, for the market. Now, Lockie Howe. He's done some great ruck work today, but I tell you what, he's done some great work around the ground at the base of the pack as well. Annette did well, just a good hit off the ground there by Matt Casey. Speed it well. It's going to be good. It is. It finds Billy Landville on the chest. He'll go short. Finds Jack Costello. Did handle to Marsh. Look out, Marshy. He kicked it in a hurry. Lovell was applying pressure. Sanson in front should get a... It was a bit high. Get this in. Ball where it... Sorry. And big... Is he out of range? He kicked one from very similar distance last week. No, he won't. He lobs it up. Looks for the rooster. Can't quite hang on to it. Pendergast was there. He's been excellent in defence today. Irvine, good. Out the back. Quick kick by Harry Wheeler. Pigeon's out of trouble. Well, Hopper needs to get a good bounce. He doesn't quite get that. They look to have a really clean break before Kyle Tyson got involved in the action. Boundary throwing Scott Montgomery. For the Newmarket Hotel, the ball's on the far side of the ground where we expected a lot more of the play to be today. Yeah, I think just with that wind, it's just really forcing them to defend to this boundary side just to make it a lot easier on the kickouts when they're exiting the fence, and that's probably why it's been stuck over here. So Willie Wheeler left it behind. Sean Driscoll, he went backwards to Glanville onto Hopper, and Hopper kicks inside 50. It's a shallow entry. O'Brien flew high. The Pigeons have numbers. Back of the pack, they're going to switch the footy out to the broadcast side wing. Boundary line's going to try and work really hard. That's out of bounds. Umpire missed that one. And the ball falls into the hands of Ryan Einspawn. True centre wing for Yarrawonga. Kicks inside 50. Wilson's the target. Trying to get work done to the footy there by Patton. And taking it across the boundary line.
was Jesse Hart. Monty, I'm not sure if you saw that one on the boundary line, but I reckon that one was fairly out of bounds. No, I couldn't quite see it from my position, mate. There's a lot of people holding boards and uh, water bottles that stand in the way down here, so I missed that one. But how good's um, Nick Patton been? work to be able to stay in the contest against a more mature body was absolutely fantastic. Yeah, and young Jesse Hart read the ball well. He left his man to come across and add support. The boundary line birdie, but he had himself in the right position. Jack Costello, oh, it almost went out of bounds on the full. Came off his boot. Him and Hunter Thornfeller, I'm sure, have had a lot of good tussles in junior footy over probably the last five or six years. They're now doing it against each other at senior footy. Ball back into Williams, palmed it. Willie Wheeler's there, Harry Wheeler's there as well. And so's the boundary line. Eventually, Sean Driscoll puts him in a crocodile roll. Around the grounds, Mr. Stone's yeah, cool Gus? world. North Aubrey lead 54 to the Magpies, 43. Ooh. Almost on the edge of three-quarter time. How would Panda be at the moment? Well, he'd probably be in the car going to Button Park, <laughs> I reckon. <laughs> he'd so leave he... Lukey Francis the call by himself. <laughs> yeah. Back live here at Lavington. Big dump tackle applied. The umpire says nothing in it. And we'll ball the footy up. Dan Vaccaro around the grounds. Yeah, just a quick update on that. It's 55 apiece now in that game. So well, the, we're at it. We don't know what phone you're with, Gus. But. I might be slightly behind the uh, behind the eight ball there. Back live. Big Ooh. dump tackle. Umpire said no. It was fair. We'll ball the footy up. And around the grounds for Mr. Stowe's Pool World, just quickly as well, Wodonga Bulldogs 42 to Murderford 34 as well. So very close contest there. Here in the third term, 51 plays 23. Willie Wheeler couldn't quite kick in the nick of time. Ball's in the back line. <laughs> Butsy, not the best. It was creative, to put it nicely. It and was. And you'll get a restart for a boundary throw in. Monty, for our listeners at home and viewers on Snap uh, on MTV, how old's Adam Butler? Uh, he's 41, I reckon, maybe 42. And he probably looks like the fittest player on the ground. He's I definitely reckon. got the 42, biggest pipes out there, I reckon. I reckon. So, ball back in. Another shallow throw in. Just haven't quite worked it out, did the Ruckman? Monty, is that a sling on Nick Fothergill yeah, as well? Yeah, they're just saying broken collarbone, boys, as well. Oh, dear. So, so, that's a yeah, big Yeah, straight to the hospital. They're just talking about calling an ambulance for him. Yep. Hal wanted to kick off the ground by Butler. Now it's Ryan Bruce traps the ball. He did well and he centers the ball nicely. Dangerous situation here. They got numbers. Casey inside handball. Wilson overrun it. Lockie Howes there. He swiveled one way. Went be gone. Lockie, you're in big trouble. He has. He, <sighs> it was like, like a, a ruckman big then, tree he? falling in the forest up at Myrtleford. Wasn't that the way the big Lockie <laughs> ended up falling down there? And little Jack Costello ended up. He dumped him and he picked him up. What a nice. He's a nice family from Jack Costello. So I'm not surprised. So Lavington have the footy in the back pocket. Almost 28 gone for NZ. Long kick down the line from Lavington. The big rooster, Tim Oosterhoff, flew and made a contest, brought it to ground level. So we're getting close to three-quarter time, Dan. Yeah, Billy Glanville just coming up for his 23rd disposal then, so he's been really good on the 40-wink stat sheet. Sammy Hopp has been good this quarter as well. Five disposals, and Tom Hargrove, five disposals this quarter as well. 7-9-51, the Pigeons, the Panthers, 3-5-23. Good boundary throw in. Hannah on the tap. Willie Wheeler's been everywhere. Got a handball to Ryan Bruce, who kicked inside forward 50. Williams made a big contest at the back of the pack was Cam Wilson, and he's happy to take that ball across the boundary line for a boundary throwing deep in the pocket. So the Lavington back six really have to stand up here while we score once again on the eve of three-quarter time. Yeah, it'd, it'd be a bit of the death knell, really. Here's Willie Wheeler. Got one high. Yeah, he'll get a free shot. He'll get a shot on goal. And the way those quarters have been going, Gussie, I reckon this could even be the last kick of the quarter. Just a little bit sloppy there from Chris Annette, wasn't it, boys? He knew he had to get low because, yeah, yeah Willie Wheeler was always going to be clean below his knees there and was able to pick it up. But, yeah, Chris Annette just needed to be a little bit better in that contest. This will be a hard shot here for Willie, hitting right into the breeze. Vax, does he kick it? Got it, Robbie. Right -o. Oh, no. Class act. Here we At least go. Robbie's not on him. No. <laughs> we'll just see how it pans out. Willie Wheeler. Kick it. On the way. Kicked it to the near well side. Done. For well a Vax. minor score, which means Yarrawonga will take a 29-point lead into the final term. Panthers may have the advantage of a slight breeze, Gus. Who knows? But at the moment, uh, they've got the job ahead of them. 7-10-52, Yarrawonga. Lavington 3-5-23. One final quarter to come here on o m Live. We don't want it thanks to India. What's your future look like? Where do you want to be? Shaping lives through nursing? Building communities through community services. Maybe caring for animals through veterinary science. With GoTave by your side, you can make it happen. 
from agriculture, hospitality, health and wellbeing, trades and education, to hair and beauty or creative. Learn real skills for real jobs and careers right now. With GoTafe, you've got this. Search GoTafe today. AY, we're your home of live sport. Every weekend, we bring you the best live broadcasts of the Ovens and Murray football and netball. Listen this weekend on your radio or the 2AY app. Adroit Insurance and Risk, your local insurance advisor, able to tailor insurance programs to support your business. And we're proud to support our local community. Zero point zero percent alcohol. This changes everything. <laughs> Rewrite the rules, Carlton Zero. why we're your home of live sport. Every weekend we bring you the best live broadcasts of the Ovens and Murray football and netball. Listen this weekend on your radio or the 2AY app. Pain or injury can stop you from living life to the fullest. Aubrey Wodonga Private Hospital specialises in advanced orthopaedic services and offers a full range of care from diagnosis to surgery and rehabilitation. Get back to the life you love with our support. Half price until half time is on in the locker room. Watch Friday night AFL footy action live on our big screen and get half price selected beers until half time. On now in the locker room at the SSNA. Welcome back to O&M Live. Great to have your company at the Lavington Sports Ground. Three-quarter time sees Yarrawonga lead 7-10-52 to the Lavington Panthers 3-5-23. Dan Vaccaro, who are the McRae Motors quarters best? Yeah, well, for Yarrawonga, Gussie was probably Willie Wheeler. He was fantastic that quarter. Seven disposals. He's up to 17 for the game, but his clearance work was superb around the contest that quarter. So he's holding Yarrawonga in good stead. And for Lavington, it's their other midfielder, Billy Glanville. He had nine disposals that quarter, 23 for the game, and he's really, really important for Lavington this last quarter. For the Newmarket Hotel, Scott Montgomery is at ground level. What are the coaches say? at the final change. 
Yeah, well, Stevie J wasn't exactly the most impressed coach going around. He thought they'd probably turn the ball over a little bit too much and didn't take on the game where they normally would because of their skill use probably hasn't been there today. So he thought in this last quarter, they've got to take it on a little bit more, really get it moving once they break the centre line. While for Lavington, Adam Snyder said, come on, boys, we just need to really give our best effort here. We need to get as close as we can and give ourselves a chance because we just don't want to give up and give them some easy goals and really get blown out of the park. Monty, do you give Lavington any chance? I've only got to kick four or five goals to be well and truly within it because it's a really low scoring game uh, seven goals to three but it's a 29 point ball game yeah they only kicked three for the game so I reckon to kick five without Yarra kicking any is probably going to be a big ass so I reckon um, yeah it's going to be a big ass but you just never know he's got to cut the kick a couple early any positional changes from Schneider? Are they going to back themselves in, Monty? I think they're going to back themselves in, but um, just a little bit of a update too. Young Russell's broken a hand, Xavier Russell, they mm. think, at the moment, so he won't take any further part in the game. And an update for our listeners that missed the Nick Fothergill incident? Yeah, Fothergill looks like he's broken his collarbone and heading straight to hospital. So, yeah, he's gone off, and Lockie Gaffney's obviously got the... We'll have to head there a bit later on and get a few stitches in the head at a fairly good cut on the top of the head. So big injury news in this game here. Quickly around the grounds, Dan Vaccaro, the North game. Yeah, the North game. So North Aubrey 9761 to Wangaratta 8755. So North just in front at the moment. And the other game at Martin Park, 43 Wodonga Bulldogs. Murderford Saints, 34. 52 plays, 23 here for Mac Jack Sheds. Here's Robbie McKinlay. Hannah got the tap. Willie Wheeler, big quarter in the third. Gets the first clearance. And kick of the final quarter. Fraunfelder had a couple of attempts kicking off the ground. Glanville give him another stat fax. Clean bowl was Whooper Irvine. Connor Willis runs hard at the footy. Jake O'Brien showed great poise and balance and kicks nicely off the left foot. And Marsh dropped what he might have taken overhead. Under pressure from Maury. Marsh keeps at it. Here's a chance again there. Willis, excellent. He'll get the range from here. Colum, Connor Willis from long range has kicked it. Out of bounds in the full. That is exactly the one, Monty, that would have lifted the Panthers. But they've missed a big chance there. Yeah, definitely would have with that lead-up play with him dodging and weaving a little bit. If he had to put that one through post-high, it definitely would have lifted the Panthers. But they're going to have to make sure they just continue now. Don't let them off and get Yarra to an easy one down the other end. Monty, I think Xavier Russell's off the hospital as well. Yeah, OK, yep. He was definitely holding it, boys, so he's in a bit of pain. Wheel up. That was Harry. Got the ball on to Ryan Bruce, whose handball was in towards a bit of space. Glanville mopped up nicely for the Panthers. Finds himself with a bit of time. So he kicks inside 50. It's a well-weighted kick. Jack. Driscoll, standing start, top of the goal square. Well done, the big rooster. Made a good contest. Tried to get up and action. And wrapped up in a big tackle was the big Pendergast. And we'll ball the footy up, top of the goal square. Jake O'Brien's the one they got to get involved. You just saw his play outside the field at 50 there. He's a barometer for Lavington, so he's got to get his hands in the footy. Rooster and Howe. Howe got the tap. And they got a clear. Oh, kick out of bounds on the full here by Pendergast. And it'll be Sam Hopper who had the shot. Mont. You get, you get a little bit of protection from the grandstand pocket there. Yeah, not with the way the wind's blowing today, okay. Robbie. It's blowing yep. basically across from the deck over on the far side. So, so. degree of difficulty out of 10 here, Mont? Probably 9.8. 9.8, Mont's <laughs> given degree of difficulty. Be good so if he kicks it. Mont, he might, I'm saying, you're saying there's about a 2% chance he can kick this. At Sammy best. Hopper. Ah, so, he's even wow. less than that. I don't know how to describe that one from Sammy. Not your best effort yet, young man. Hit. It went about 15 metres and it didn't even go out of bounds. But well, you know, if I'd known he was going to kick all that, I would have said 10. It just lacked a bit of punch in the end, didn't it? I'd like to buy real estate off you if that went 15 metres, <laughs> big back. Well, take it away, Gus. Boundary throw in. This is a better option than that kick in. Rooster took it out of the ruck, got the handball away. Another boundary throw in. So, Monty for the new year. They can just get a chance to get a clean break and a shot on goal here, Lavington, and claw their way back into this game. Yeah, absolutely. They need to. Big rooster you see there. He wants to take it out of the ruck and just throw one on the boot. He kicked a couple last week that way. So, if he can do that and get them going, that's exactly what Lavington needs. Oh, Lockie Howes has caught one too. How did cop one, but he won the tap. And Lockie Howes saying to the umpire, how did you not see that? I copped it fair and square. Ball up. 15 metres from Lavington goal. Howe and Oosterhoff in the ruck. Free kick. It's going to go the way. Of Oosterhoff against Lockie Howe for a ruck infringement. Yeah, not sure what that one was for, boys. I don't think Lockie Howe knows either, just quietly the way he's looking at the umpire. But anyway, the umpire's paid it, and the big rooster will go back and try and put another one through. Um, obviously, after his four last week, just the one this week. So to kick a second will be a good return. Well, he's only his second game for Lavington. This is probably the biggest kick he's had for the club so far. Really needs to kick this one. 30 metres out, 45-degree angle. Kicks OK. He's got it. 
The Big Mac liked it early, so did the Rooster. He kicks his second. 29 plays, 52 on the Wodonga border carpet scoreboard. And there's a sniff for the Panthers on O&M Live. Yeah, what a great finish there by the Rooster. And they're fighting hard here at Lavington. Two inside 50s early days. Jake O'Brien involved early. Sammy Hopper, Billy Glanville as well getting their hands on the footy. And just quickly around for Mr. Stokes pull world around the grounds. North Aubrey, 9761 to Wangaratta, 9761. So that game is just neck and neck at the moment. And then over at Martin Park, Wodonga Bulldogs, 61349 plays Myrtleford, 5434. They've kicked the last three goals of the game. Lavington, they, they have. They trailed by 40 points at one stage in that third quarter. Harry Wheeler bringing Hamble out the back to Whooper Irvine. That was smothered by Sean Driscoll. Now it's Gabriel Robinson. Had a swing and a miss. Bit of pressure by Marsh. Maury off the right foot. That's a penetrating kick. Coming through there is Drew Bevan, the young lad from Tumut. Bit of a rugby league background. And he gets it over the boundary line. It'll be thrown back in. There's not too many players around the ball at the moment. It got down there pretty quick and a little bit of fatigue. Pe uh, Pigeons here, Gussie, a chance to get the reply. Almost five gone for NZ. Howe's been best on for mine. Got it to Wheeler, who kicked inside forward 50. Made a contest. Casey was there. Lavington have numbers, and they clear defensive lines. Inboard towards the middle of the ground. Kyle Tyson, unlucky not to give away a free mm. kick there, or lucky, I should say, as Urquhart kicks from a standing start. Owens Porn. In fact, it's Fraunfelder who's drifted forward. Basil handballs over the top to Harry Wheeler. Goes backwards to brother Willie. Underground pass to Cam Wilson, who had clean hands. Got it to Williams to snap across his body. Leroy kicks a big goal, his third, and puts a dagger back in the heart of the Lavington Panthers. The margin's back out to 29 points for Border Carpets. We yeah. said he's been a bit quiet, Lee Williams, but he's still been able to kick three goals. And that one there, Cam Wilson, how clean yeah. at ground yep. level. We flick that one out to the big fella who puts it through. Yeah, great finish there by Williams. And yeah, as Monty said, great return. Two inside 50s now for Yarrawonga, and they scored out of one of them. But just missed those pool world as well. Just another score update. Still 61 apiece, North Aubrey and Wangaratta. And Wodonga starting to kick away. 7-14-56, plays at Myrtleford. 5-4-34 in the last quarter at Martin Park. Yeah, that half volley gather there by Cam Wilson was superb. Set that one up for Williams. Good finish. Gets his third. The Wheeler boys were involved too early. Here's Iron Spawn. Kicks the ball inside forward 50, but Jess Hart's there all on his own. Marks a true centre half back. Goes short, and he finds Nick Patton, who's a beautiful left foot kick normally. Oh, that's a Good touch there. Finds Sean Driscoll. He'll pan ball back to Patton. Patton on the fly. Drives it long. Jack Driscoll's a target. Over the back. Good call by the Rooster. And he marks 45 out. It was elite body and paint. Market play of the day, really, Gus. It was set up nicely from Jesse Hart at centre back. How good was Nick Patton, but boys, was able to use the footy beautifully, then run on and got it from Driscoll to then kick it inside 50. And the big rooster will go back here and line up for number three. And as you said before, probably his biggest kick the last one. This one's just as big, I think. 40 metres out, Tim Oosterhoff. Kick on the way. It's high. It's long. He loves it. The rooster gets three, and it's a quick reply to the Lee Williams goal. 58 to 35. Mac Jack Sheds, we're doing it for, and it is four to each. Four. What are you telling me to do there, Gus? I was trying to tell you it's a 23-point margin. 23-point margin. So they've still got a sniff here. They've, got those, they've still got plenty of time. Over 20 minutes left here, 58 to 35. The game's opened up a bit, Mont. It's looking good. Yeah, absolutely. It is through the middle of the ground. They're definitely using the footy a lot better, Lavington. I feel they're probably the team that's been able to fix up their, their foot skills a lot quicker than what Yarrawonga have. They've still been a little bit scrappy, especially going inside forward 50. 58 plays 35. Yarrawonga lead the Panthers in the final turn for Mac Jack Sheds. He's a go for Willie Wheeler. His numbers for 40 winks. Willie Wheeler's had 21 disposals. He's been everywhere today. Butler left that one behind. Hunter Fronfelder got involved in the action. Butler had another crack at it trying to find Glanville. And it's out of bounds for a boundary throw. And right in front of Scott Montgomery for the New Market Hotel. There's still a sniff here for the Panthers. They are. And they're not letting anything go here, boys. They're definitely working very hard. They will not give up Lavington, as we know they won't. Look how far back the two Ruckman are. Takes them a while to learn, doesn't it? I reckon it suits Howe, though, because he just gets front position. You can't get past him, Mont. Yeah, he's a big body to get yeah, around, isn't yeah. he? So I he reads reckon it well. Jack Driscoll and the guys got to be aware of that. Make sure you've got front position on those boundary throw-ins. As Glanville comes off, Tom Hargraves goes back on. Driscoll, here's Hargraves straight into the action. Handball to Jack Costello. Good pick-up. Well-weighted handball. 
to Bevan, back to Costello, onto Marsh, now onto Patton. Patton off the left foot, kicks it long. Gaffney back on the field, got the headband on, kicks it off the ground, won't get inside forward 50. Urquhart did well, back to Lovell, intercepted by Gaffney. This kick's important. It's a low dribbler out the back there. Good tackle by Sanson. Chance here for Tyson. It's a release out of Urquhart, and they get out of trouble there, the Pigeons. Magnificent defence. Monty for the Newmarket Hotel. Connor Willis is on the ground. And yeah, there's and there's a bit of remonstrating going on too, boys. I'm not sure what happened, but it was off the ball, that's for sure. Well, the footy hasn't been anywhere near him for about 30 seconds. Yeah, I reckon he a, caught one late. It would have been 100 metres off the ball, boys. What it was, I'm not sure, but yeah. Well, there was an umpire standing pretty much hot on the spot, so it'll be hard to get a gauge what's going on. Was there any remonstrating off the play, Mott? Yeah, Sammy Hopper came over and definitely got into, I think it was um, Jeff Montgomery, I reckon. So Maybe. what's your cousin done, Mond? Is what yeah, we're, we're trying to get to the bottom of here. The umpire's called for a whistle to stop play. And there's a bit of confusion as to where the footy's going to go yeah, I think it's got to go back to where it was. I think they were just stopping it because it was an injured player where yeah. the ball could have headed. So it's been the right decision. He's done the right thing here, the umpire. But, yeah, the ball definitely we'll goes back. Soon find we'll out who the guilty party is. Yeah. I think it, it won't take long to work I out. Who it might was. be one of Monty's relations, is it? Yeah, yeah. I think it was cousin Jeffy. <laughs> There'll be a bit of remonstration off the footy fair to Sammy say. Hopper's still into him. Yeah, yeah. Hopper's yeah. still in already. Cousin yeah. Jeff, cousin Jeff, you might have had a bit of a mis mishap here, Monty. You might have to speak to him at Christmas time, mate, and just let him know you can't be doing that sort of stuff. Young Robbo's coming in, and Rob, yeah, it's pretty clear. Yeah. So wait till a few of the big boys get to cousin Jeffy. He'll he will cop a fair bit. And Monty, it sounds like uh, Schneider's at boundary level is pretty agitated about it all. Yeah, just a little bit, boys. I don't think anyone really saw what happened, but yeah, definitely wasn't anywhere near the ball. Ten minutes gone in the final quarter. 58 plays, 35. Yarrawonga lead Lavington. The back of the pack was a net who kicked long down the line. Big contest forms. Players from both sides lurk around this. One of whom is Corby Robinson. He dives on top of it. Trying to spill it out was Irons Porn. Now Costello gets the footy. Needs a clean bounce. Gets it. Jack Costello kicks on goal. The Roosters the leading team. Target, but the kick was poor. It spills out of bounds for a boundary throw in 15 metres out from Lavington goal. They trail 35 to 58. It's on the border carpet scoreboard and 11 minutes gone as 11 minutes has been played Big Mac in the final term for NZ. Well, he's on debut, Jeff Montgomery. He, he made a presence. Made a holiday. <laughs> well, I don't think saw it. I didn't see what happened. I'm only guessing here too at the moment. Free kick. And it's going to go to Willie Wheeler who's been outstanding today. A lot of the footy. Lockie Gaffney's in there. He's back on the ground. Panthers, you really think they need the next goal. Get that margin under three goals. Kick high. Spooner's there. Big pack forms. Spooner's back over the footy. So's Lee Williams. And there's a, just plenty happening here. Tommy Hargraves has shown his displeasure to, to another player on the ground. Where's Cousin Jeffy? Yeah, that's who he was showing the displeasure to, Tommy Hargrove. That's for sure. <laughs> Cousin Jeffy's just sort of playing a wide berth at the moment. <laughs> He's not There's a bit of it. heat on him, mate. Hey, good on the young fella anyway. He's I'm, having a ball I'm out be, there. I'd be getting off, Jeff, if I was you. Free kick and a whistle. It's going to go the way of <laughs> Yarrawonga here or Driscoll? Nah, it's going to go to... Um, a throw too high. It's Tana uh, yeah. yeah, Tana Nyholm. It's going to get the free kick against uh, Tommy Hargrove. Just quickly around the grounds. North Aubrey, 73 plays. Wanger out of 61. Upset wow. brewing at Bunton Park. Boys. There will not be enough beer at Bunton Park tonight if they win. Panda will drink more than anyone. Oh, and no. I know that Dean Nicholson, who supplies their liquor from the Newmarket Hotel, he's out of town, so someone might have to step up to the party. <laughs> back here live at Lavington, 58 plays, 35. Free kick in the back. It's going to go the way of Yarrawonga, much to the disgust of the Lavington bench. It's a little Lo bit sloppy there from Corby Robinson. Just needed to be a little bit better when he's over the ball like that. Logan Morey. Kicks long down the line. Williams the target. Well done, Spina. Probably a 50-50 between the two key pillars today. And a big tackle applied will ball the footy up. 60 metres out from Yarrawonga goal. Big Mac from McRae Motors. Take it away. Yeah, Lovey just can't get too distracted here. They've got, got to get about the business of finding a way to kick goals. And Willie Wheeler, gee, another possession for him. Here's Fronfelder. He's dangerous anywhere inside the forward 50. Fronfelder, shot on goal, misses to the near side. So the margin's out now to a neat 24.4 goal margin, 59 to 35. And it'll be Nick Patton will bring it back in. Gussie, and he's just a beautiful kick off the left foot. He's one of the best kicks of the footy I've seen coming into the competition, Monty. 
Uh, that's a big cause, man. A few good ones. Michael Gibbons was pretty good when he came into the competition. Oh, for a youngster, he's going to get a one. <laughs> we didn't say that. No, I'll, I'll add it to the uh, to the layer. <laughs> no, you're probably right. He's yeah, a hard man debut. to please, Mont. <laughs> Go it? with him, Mont. He was. Uh, on debut, he's been absolutely fantastic. New pattern, he's shown that while well, the loving coaching staff's given him this opportunity with his skill use, and he's been absolutely superb. Give you donuts, mate. Sort he? of playing as a quarterback behind the footy. Glanville got held without the football. Umpire left it alone. He went back and had another crack at it. Costello being impressive, the youngster. Threw it on the left boot. Kick works out okay. It's with McLeod. Cousin. Wants to come in board. Hopper's got some work to do. Well done. Made a good contest. They have numbers. One of whom is Maury. He takes a bounce in the centre of the ground. Kicks beautifully to Matt Casey. And Casey's 55 from home with a fairly open forward line. He's got the leg. Casey no. kicks from a standing start. Frontfelder, beautiful kick, beautiful mark. Yeah. Elite body in paint, mark of the day from Bailey Frontfelder, who's drifted forward, and he marked on his chest with brute strength. Yeah, Frontfelder's played most of this quarter. Down forward, and it's been a really good move. I think he's got a few touches up around the, with the wings and been that bit of a link up. But how good was the kick from Casey? Frontfelder wasn't even leading there, but the kick just drew him into the space and chest mark, easy as you like, straight in front. Young McLeod's kick was a bit risky, wasn't it? You see what he's trying to do. It was three-on-one contest. Bailey Fronfelder. 30 metres out. Call it directly in front. Oh, that is oh. the worst kick of the football I've ever seen from Bailey. Back he's down, missed. Back. He's missed by 30 metres. <laughs> I'm not exaggerating. He's missed the goal <laughs> by 30 metres. Out of bounds on the full. As Monty said, get back to the halfback flank, Basil. <laughs> There you go. Oh, Spooner oh, oh, is the re surprise recipient of bringing the ball back into play. Sorry, Monty, that was appalling. That was appalling. <laughs> yep, I'm with you on this one, Gussie. I'll go with you on this one. That's like hitting out of bounds, isn't it? It's like bowling three front foot no balls in a grand final. Yeah, it's a lose. Yep. yep. Ball still inside forward 50 for Yarrawonga. Spooner overran it, but he had just got enough on it to get it over the boundary line. 40 metres around from Yarrawonga's goal. They lead by 24 points. 15 minutes gone in this quarter. They've been going around about the 28, 29 minutes. So still a bit of time here for Lavi, but you'd think they'd want two goals in the next four minutes. Out the back, Harry Wheeler. Snap on goal. Misses to the right-hand side. So just a cup. So it was Tana, Tana, Tana. Nyholm, who's had a really good game in midfield. And he just misses left-hand side. So Pigeons had a couple of chances to ice this one. They haven't quite done it. And it'll be Patton will bring it back into play. They lead by 25 points. Love to see him go up the guts here, Monty. Yeah, just take it on. That's what we really want to see now, isn't it? Just get to the big boys, kick it to Timmy Hanna or someone like that, and just take it on. Just kick to the captain. It's always a good idea when the captain demands the ball. 35 metres. The kick went from Patton to Hargrave at centre-half. Back who comes in board. Poor-looking kick. But Butler... Read it nice to the big centre Good half kick. back, and he kicks inside forward 50. Willis has got some work to do. The bounce didn't favour him. Irvine, he worked hard to get the front of that contest. His handball was poor. Inside Lavington's attacking 50. Big contest for him. Hooper Irvine tries to get the handball out over the top. Glanville's got some work to do against Harry Wheeler. Hopper, clean pick up out Here's to go. Driscoll. Driscoll, Sean, top of the goal square. Driscoll goals. Sun Jan goal of the day from Sean Driscoll. It's been Touch. touched. Umpire on the line has called a touch. He's got a better view than all of us. But theater. I'll tell you what. Great theatre. Well, there's your sense of theatre. Well said, Big Mac. He Minor score. <laughs> he dragged us all in, didn't he? Great kick in by Pendergast. Finds Hunter Fronfelder at half back. And he'll handball to Logan Morey. No, he won't. He'll decide to run with it. Oh, it's a high up and under. Get under that and good luck from behind. Nyholm took a beauty. Elite body and paint player of the day from Nyholm. He chips short and he finds Fraunfelder. He sees Lee Williams and they're on the different page he's there. lost his kicking boots, Bailey. Yeah, he just, he hooked it again, didn't he, Mont? He, he did, missed. Yeah. He found John O'Spina, who's chipped it over to Nick Patton. Oh, he squeezed the ball midfield. Gus turnover coming up here. Well, Fraunfelder, he went the handball there. Probably a wise option from Basil. And he's wrapped up in a big tackle around the grounds. Yes. Mr. Stoves, Paul Wells, what's happening at Bunton, Dan? Well, they're going to do it, I think, Gus. 74 plays, 62. And then over at Martin Park, 58 plays, 40. So Wodonga and North Albury, I've got a feeling, are both going to win. There won't be enough beer at Bunton Park tonight. I guarantee you there will not be, will not be enough beer there. The Magpies are on the brink of going zipping too and Dan Vaccaro tipping to go undefeated for the year. <laughs> <laughs> How tough it must be to coach with that on your back. 
Hannah, he won the tap. He brought it to ground level. Centre half forward for the Panthers. Umpire's got the whistle out. Oh, Freaky holding the footy. It's going to go the way of the Panthers. Looks to be against Harry Wheeler and Billy Glanville. He'll get the free kick for Lavington through centre half back. He attacks through the corridor. Dangerous looking kick. Willis made a good contest. Sean Driscoll being better as the game goes on. He was wrapped up in a tackle and will ball it up on the edge of the centre square. 18 and a half gone on the NZ time clock. Yarrawonga lead 8 12 60. Lavington 5 6 36. That's on the border carpet scoreboard. Yeah, being brave, the Panthers, they just probably just lack that little bit extra forward polish. Driscoll again stays at it, shovel it out nicely to McLeod. McLeod handballed it inside forward 50. Einspawn, clever. Over the top to Maury. Gets a bit of range with his kick. Chance here sits nicely for Harry Wheeler. Gavis centre wing. Kick comes inboard. Finds Robinson. He's got numbers wide. He goes that way. Big play here for Marsh. He took body contact and he's winded himself as Marshy. Willie Wheeler has it, chip short, looks for Williams, can't hold onto it, Cam Wilson, face of the pack, Gavard, handball back, Willie Wheeler kicks it, over the top it goes, Harry takes a good grab. Or a oh, he copped a big hit too. Oh. I thought he's either get paid the mark or a free kick for a high one. Jeez, he was made to earn it. It's gonna be a ball up 30 after the Pigeons goal. They lead by 24 points, 19 and a half minutes gone. Fourth quarter for Mac Jack Sheds. Just take yourself into the, bu the box at, at, uh, at Martin Park, boys, and picture yourself with Blake Escott right now. Right on here. Free kick whistle. <laughs> it's going to go Lavington's way for a ruck infringement. Timmy Hatt has been brave today, Mons. 50, boys. Yeah, he's been great, hasn't he? He's battled really hard. They've tried a double team with Lockie Hare and Kogil, so he's done a great job, Timmy. And they've had a few, you know, and spurts in the game where the midfield has been on top. Handballs to Glanville, who kicks inside 50 for the Panthers. Roosters the target, went through his mitts, back of the pack. Logan moore has been superb today for the Pigeons, one of their best for mine. Ryan Bruce kicks with a beautiful kick in the Willie Wheeler direction. Monty, he's a contender for the ending time fitness player of the day today, Willie Wheeler. He's been fantastic, and his work rate just doesn't stop. He gets to the right spots, he works wing to wing, and he's been absolutely superb today. Yeah, 26 disposals for Willie Wheeler on the 40-wing stat sheet. And another beautiful kick as he finds Robinson, true centre wing on the outer side, the velodrome side of the Lavington Sports Ground. A much improved footballer yes. is Will Robinson. Who kicks to centre half forward, hugging the boundary line. Well done. Mark's been paid. It's going to go the way of Hart. Who's been a solid contributor today at centre half back, Jesse Hart. He switches the ball and he finds Nick Patton at centre half back. He wants to bring the ball into the broadcast side. Instead, he goes short to centre half back. He finds Costello. And then he gets the ball back, does young Patton. He's good, Gus. He runs with it and he chips it. OK, Billy Glanville. He'll go wide. Drew Bevan snuck down from half back. Shawnee Driscoll runs alongside him. He goes to the rooster. Couldn't hold on to it. He's got a free kick. I think he paid the mark. He, he, I, well, I don't know if he... I didn't think he held it long yeah, enough. That's why I thought it had to be a free yeah. kick, Mont, because... There wasn't much there. No, well, anyway...
It is Chuck. Chuck, Chuck yeah. might have fallen asleep. This has been a pretty long term. And right on cue, there's the siren. Yarrawonga prevail 9-13-67 to Lavington 8-8-56. The Panthers were gallant in the last part of this uh, final Very. quarter. Big Mac. And, Very. Uh, mind you, I thought Yarrawonga went to ice the game, but they might have looked to ice it a little bit too early, Big Mac. They missed a couple of chances. We mm. saw Basil Fronfelder, Lee Williams, a few of them. And sometimes, even when you, you have that game, the margins around that 20 points, it, it's a good time to just finally put it away. They just kept it alive a bit. They gave them a chance and... Um, yeah, a lot of credit given to the Panthers there, the way they finish off that game. And again, just like last week, it's that sluggish start they got where that's, um, yeah, it proved a bit costly. But uh, they're not too far off it. We, we all know they've probably one more key forward been a, a really good side, top five side. Absolutely. And I think Yarrawonga showed how really good they are with a few of their big gun players yep. out today in Masters and, and Gibbons. And Lee Williams, he looked to be on one leg. And he still managed to bob up with uh, with four goals. So he played a really big game. Dan Vaccaro and Scott Montgomery are out there looking to find out Anytime Fitness Player of the Day. Great to have Anytime Fitness back on board for season 2024. One gym membership, Big Matt, will get you access to 12,000 gyms right across the globe, including the two here. One in North Albury and, of course, in Wodonga as well. Monty's cutting some hot laps here. I reckon he's going to try and find Willie Wheeler. I reckon he's the man he's looking for. And he might be trying to avoid Scott Montgomery. Mm. I reckon he's, he looks like a Willie Wheeler. And he's making his way in there. And it is Willie Wheeler. He's going to be our Anytime Fitness Player today. I thought he was clinical today. Oh, great, mate. Monty thought he was very good as well. Our Anytime Fitness Player of the day with Scott Montgomery is Willie Wheeler. Yeah, boy, he's got Willie Wheeler with me, mate. <laughs> Grounded out in the end. They come back really hard in that last quarter, but Israel able to hold on. Yeah, we might have uh, felt the six-day break, I don't know, but we had a few out in that. No, they played really well that last quarter. They started marking everything and going down the middle and sort of opened us up a fair bit, so it was a bit to work on for us. Yeah, real change in conditions the last week where it was nice and hot and really fast deck at my Whaley. Come here, it was a bit slippery early. Boys probably took a little bit to adjust to the different skill level. Yeah, absolutely. I think we still wanted to play um, a bit of that hot footy, looking short and stuff like that. We wanted to do territory, but we just didn't do it. So, yeah, there's a bit to work on, absolutely. So. Yeah. Oh, well, four points, mate. Four points. Go and celebrate and enjoy it. Yeah, thanks, mate. Very good. Cheers. Uh, very well done there from Scott Montgomery. Our anytime fitness player of the day was Willie Wheeler. I thought he was easily best on ground today. I think Lockie Howe might pick up some yeah. MVP yep. votes as well. I thought he was really successful. And I like the game of Logan Morey too. I thought he, he played a good. really good game off that wing and sort of half-back role there. So what we'll do, we'll take a break here on A&M Live. We'll send Monty in the rooms to capture the song. On the other side of the break, we'll hear the song. We'll hear from Stevie J. We'll try and catch up with Adam Schneider as well. You're listening to O&M Live, where Yarrawonga were victorious over the Lavington Panthers. 9-13-67. The Panthers, 8-8-56 on O&M Live. And on O&M Live, you won't miss a thing. What's your future look like? Where do you want to be? Shaping lives through nursing? Building communities through community services? Maybe caring for animals through veterinary science? With GoTave by your side, you can make it happen. From agriculture, hospitality, health and wellbeing, trades and education, to hair and beauty or creative, learn real skills for real jobs and careers right now. With GoTave, you've got this. Search GoTave today. AY, we're your home of live sport. Every weekend, we bring you the best live broadcasts of the Ovens and Murray football and netball. Listen this weekend on your radio or the 2AY app. Adroit Insurance and Risk, your local insurance advisor, able to tailor insurance programs to support your business. And we're proud to support our local community. Zero point zero percent alcohol. This changes everything. <laughs>
2AY, we're your home of live sport. Every weekend, we bring you the best live broadcasts of the Ovens and Murray football and netball. Listen this weekend on your radio or the 2AY app. Pain or injury can stop you from living life to the fullest. Aubrey Wodonga Private Hospital specialises in advanced orthopaedic services and offers a full range of care from diagnosis to surgery and rehabilitation. Get back to the life you love with our support. Half price until half time is on in the locker room. Watch Friday night AFL footy action live on our big screen and get half price selected beers until half time. On now in the locker room at the SSNA.